Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to Forza Motorsport. Welcome to our first stream on Forza Motorsport. I put the cam I put the camera on today because I was thinking we might we might finally get some Apollo camera, maybe. However, the dog is fast asleep. He's passed out. He's zonked today. So, who knows? I might turn it off at some point. It's really difficult to set it up on Forza because the bits of the screen are... are yeah, there. Uh, <laughs> you'll see what I mean soon. Today we are trying something a bit different. Today we're trying something that is possibly the best use of the car upgrade system that uh, that, that, that we can actually use Gliska's idea initially. I think we've got it in a way that's going to work now. Um, and we're going to see how this all pans out. So essentially what we are doing, everybody is starting with a vehicle that is completely completely stock a car on level one that has never been driven before for this race for this series we're going to do a sort of multiple races and then move on to a different car as we go through All right for this one as you can see here we have got the escort mark two as you if you could see everyone is on level one on their car bit going on there uh now as we go through this series of races people are going to be earning car xp and depending on how they drive depending on how overtakes go depending on how well they drive sectors and all of that kind of stuff they're going to earn potentially be earning different car xp between each of us plus how we choose to build our car how we choose to upgrade our car is going to be different for example most of us because we're at silverstone national for this first race most of us have dumped power in the cars some people i think speed beast put brakes on it better brakes on it um and others, Shadow and Liam, have done something slightly differently. So, so plenty of us have gone for full full power. Some have gone a little bit different. Um, we shall see how this all, all pans out, basically. Um, the, the old saying of, you can't polish a turd, but you can roll it in glitter. That is basically what we are trying to do with this upgrade system. As much, like, it, crap, it's complete garbage. This might be a fun game mode. Uh, we are going to see how this pans out, <laughs> basically. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, we, we don't know. We don't know for sure, uh, but it should be quite fun. The weather's going to be left on random, so this first race we're racing in the pouring rain. We're at Silverstone, so of course it is going to piss it down with rain. Um, it's the only British track in the game now. We don't have brands. Yeah, it will be the only British track in the game. Well, that's a shame. But... Uh, yeah, yeah, there's nothing else. It's going to be, yeah, yeah, who knows? Forza loves, even random weather loves putting it in the rain, so I guess we will see. Uh, Drake, thank you for the uh, donation, by the way, just before we get underway. Uh, saying tonight, to fail race goes grinding for hours on end. Well, not really, because we're slightly tweaking it. Um, to hopefully get a new exhaust. Well, you we have got a new exhaust to start with. Uh, <laughs> meanwhile, we, uh, we race around where Speed Beast has a collision, possible. Impega has a collision, possible. And Alex has a collision, quite possible. I mean, they're all quite likely. Um... They're, they're all quite like there's going to be quite a few bumps. It's a one make race with escort Mark twos. It's going to be sideways, slow, and bumpy. I think is the best way to sum it up. Not actual bumpy, but um, there we go. So, Piers, can you do a race at Silverstone? Because Brit, well, excellent, excellent time because that was where we were going to immediately. Uh, <laughs> so, shall we get started? I think it is time to go racing. No, Ollie's turned up. Uh, so, for this, and we've got seventeen today. We do have 17. Uh, so for this um, race, there is we haven't got the penalties turned on. Don't don't want to turn them on. We you know we're, we're here having a bit of fun, right? As long as no one's taking egregious corner cuts, we don't want those just because they are what's the right inconsistent. We don't we don't want races ruined by inconsistent penalties. Um, you know us lot here are trying to play the race is relatively sensible right ollie is connected what has ollie gone so and the grid order sorry i should have said grid order is ran is a reverse pi order so the lowest pi car is on pole uh you did throw up an interesting conundrum speed be suggested didn't go for it in the end but you could put ballast in your car to make it the lowest pi car so you start on pole but have the slowest car and with vehicles this close might not be the worst idea but we shall see we shall see um 
Uh, <laughs> my ace, Stuart, thank you for the donation immediately. Uh, so track limits tougher. We haven't started racing. I can't get a penalty before I've started racing. That's an Ocon level penalty right there. Uh, <laughs> for calling issues with our system, Alex takes back of grid penalty. I might actually be at the back of the grid. I am amongst the highest PI cars. I think I'm the, pretty much the highest PI you can have for this first race. So we could be at the back of the grid. I do not know. It is possible. Let us go and see. Our cheerleader is fast asleep on his bed. He is a very comfy doggo. Um, <laughs> he had his dinner and he's gone to sleep. Uh, he had a run around the garden chasing after a football. He likes he like he likes he likes chasing after a likes chasing after football, tennis ball, anything. You can throw a stick and he'll chase it. I give him something to chase and he is a happy, happy dog. Okay, we're not at the back of the grid. We've got a nice spot on the grid. Uh, in fact, we might be the, the furthest... I don't know if we're the furthest up of the uh, 280 PI cars. Uh, so, some of us have painted our vehicles. Mine is bright orange. Some of them... There's quite a lot of... They may not have loaded. Some of them... The Brazens are supposed to have a livery. Liveries are obviously not quite loading. Wonderful. Who would have thought... Who would have thought more things are going less than ideal here? Uh, this is going to be a manic. I'm just going to be a, maybe a little bit cautious. Speed piece is already on the grass. Oh, Hyper's had an off. I'm on the outside. Ollie's going to try and see. Ollie snuck past a lot of people there. On the, there's the blimp! I see the blimp. It is definitely a lot less fearsome in this game than it is in GTA, but the blimp is here! Do not look this way. Do <laughs> We are sneaking. I mean, you're not going to be able to see much through the spray. Uh, although, I guess you would probably see the orange escort more than the other ones. Uh, we are to the inside of someone. I'm not quite sure who it is, but we are. And then we're going to be on the inside around here. Uh, oh, Impega and Longbow are wandering a little bit wide. There is an escort-sized gap on the inside for me to try and shove my car through. The only problem is you don't quite get as go to a run on the exit. It looks like there's puddles down here. We don't have the big aqua plating that we saw in Motorsport 7, so we don't really have to... Don't, have to worry too much about that. That's three wide and someone's going exploring. How many touring car lines are going to be taken through turn one? Well, somebody is off on a touring car line. That's Shadow. Uh, why is Shadow showing us in 14th? What position is anybody in? I have no idea. What position is going on. I'm not 100% sure what is going on in terms... Positions are broken. Uh, we are going to not ask questions. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Things are weird and probably a bit broken. <laughs> are we seventh? Maybe? No? One, two, three, four, five. We should be sixth. Stevie's apparently sixth. No, either. It is possible... I have broken a setting somewhere in this. It is possible when I set this up, it's not quite worked. Um, but there we go. I feel like I might have broken something. Or either I've broken a setting or something in the game is broken. And I don't know which one it is. Fun times! Oh well coming around to complete the second lap. It won't be having a fun, it's a fire. Blakey's leading! Blakey is definitely not in first. Uh, <laughs> no, Blakey's third now. Ah, oh, does it only... Ah, oh, I don't know what's going on. I was going to say, does it only update across the finish line? But we're now eighth. I am very confused. What on earth has happened? This week did a filming session on this game yesterday and this wasn't going on which makes me think I've been something up but I'm not 100% sure what I've been stuff is it it's not the fastest lap because it's not showing the fastest laps anywhere I must I must have broken something here uh, <laughs> possibly um, I guess we'll find we're car level 2 that is good news uh, so we will have some more XP to spend on upgrades going forward. Uh, I'm not actually sure who is legit in the lead of this little battle here. Can we get to the inside of Blakey? See, I'm actually doing okay with this escort, which slightly surprises me. I wasn't necessarily expecting to, to be all that quick. This is really not my sort of car, um, especially not in the 
pouring rain. Although I guess it's not really that oversteering. The lack of a the open diff at the back is really preventing too much oversteer. There's a lot of one-tire fires, not that you can see in all these wet conditions. I think this is tracking some sort of fastest lap. I don't quite know why. I must have moved a setting that accidentally has accidentally done that. I don't, yeah, something, something's tracking wrong. Or we're going to get to the end of the race and it's suddenly going to ping everything. Well, I mean, we're all in the same boat, I guess, at the end of the day here. We get stopped down this part. Chris is apparently the leader. We're going to try and go underneath Blakey here for the exit. We're just treating this like a race, which is, for entertainment value, we're going to say this is just a race. We've gone alongside Blakey. I don't know whether we can outrun. I'm trying to get some slips through. We will. We will outrun Blakey. Uh, down this next straight, which will put us up into a kind of overall fifth, a technical fifth, shall we say. There can be a bump through there, that doesn't really matter. Chris is going to run out of road. No, no, gets away with it. Oh, there's, there's, there's the uh, touring car contact. Nothing terrible happening there. We will try and get on the power nice and soon. Going to try and pin. Oh, Brazen's, Brazen's out wide. Brazen will be slow coming down the start finish straight, as is Chris a little bit. Brazen's moved across to try and prevent the orange machine from making an appearance, but it is not enough. The orange machine is here, whether you like it or not. Uh, oh, the orange machine is pushing Liam into turn one. I break a little bit later than those through there, but never mind. Everyone is fine. Brazen, well, uh, I mean, there was a little off track. Little off track excursion has occurred. It's fine. Uh, it was a bit of pushing as well from me, so we can't really say much. I don't really want to change out third, because we're about to go on the brakes down here. Uh, we will get stopped. I don't actually know who is leading this race. It might be Longbow. Uh, we're still side by side with Brazen. I've got on the power quite nicely here, and that will do. It'll get us past. Thank you for the push. Uh, it's a big line of escorts going down here. Liam did not really come across to cover. We have got an overlap heading down towards this next corner. Oh, that's a big dive. I'm going to pull it up in time. Oh. <laughs> it was more, it was, that was supposed to be an overtake on Liam. And Chris was quite early on the brakes. Oh, he didn't really run all that wide through there. Yeah, that was a touring car pass if ever I saw one. Chris is going to fight back on the inside. I should have gone down a gear. Yeah, whatever setting I've done, I've done it wrong. We're not earning any car XP either may get to level three by the end of this. We have got the run on the exit just about to put us up into second place. Uh, let's try and get slowed for turn one. We are wide, unfortunately. Oh, that's not so good. Chris is going to be uh, there. Will we be able to? Should be able to. I think we should be able to fight off. We've got the line through here. Chris has backed out of it. We will kind of Oh, I see straight line down here. Chris is still looking to try and get underneath. They've got no traction on the wet stuff. Here comes the power on the exit. It is absolutely... <laughs> it's just two by two. Which, act secretly, secretly, we are uh, like Talladega or Daytona. Brazen's going to go the long way around here. Oh, I can't stop. Can't stop or turn. We might be able to get passed by everybody. We tried to make this as wide as possible. Now it's four wide into the final corner of the race. Uh, we are all going to get passed by Brazen. I don't know. Liam may pass us as well. I might get on the power well enough to fend off Liam on the run to the line. We do. Brazen made the most of that. Good move by Brazen to sneak past. Liam's battling away with Chris. I mean, Lombo is going to take a victory. I've done something wrong with the settings. <laughs> we were third. Uh... No, wait, no, we are third on there. It was, what the bloody hell? What's happened? I don't understand. I'm so confused. <laughs> Does anybody have an answer? I don't know what I did settings-wise. It said I was 16th and now it's showing the leaderboard is correct. I don't know what happened. I'm confused. Send help. <laughs> I'm absolutely baffled. Well, it's third, and that what is going on with this screen. <laughs> oh, hey, we're on the podium. Well, it may be. 
<laughs> well, I didn't get... Well, no, 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 that's not... That's... <laughs> we've, we've been streaming 14 minutes. We've had one race. My guy's in his car! Get out of the car! Get on the podium, you fool! <sighs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't... I, I don't know. I don't understand. Uh, so it, the podium was right. The actual finishing position was kind of right. However... <laughs> uh, well, it was obviously kind of partly based on lap time, but also not based on lap time. Let's have a look. Uh... I mean, circuit race is what we want, yeah? Uh, it's a custom thing. Number of laps, six. Time progression, I mean, that was all of that. Uh, none of that is what I want. Rules. Uh, ah, okay. Compare best lap score was on. It must have been turned on by accident while I was flicking down there for reasons I don't understand. Um, uh, we've had a couple of people's game crash as well. Uh, so yeah, we had we had compare best lap scores turned on, but because it was a lap race, it was counting lap as well. So I don't know what overrode what. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what overrode what on that one. But there we go. Okay, the first race is completed. So now the cars will get a little bit far. We're going to stick with short circuits to begin with. Um, let's go. Uh, let's go Lime Rock. Lime Rock seems like a good, a good shout. Uh, it's probably. Uh, let's go seven laps. Let's do it. Uh, Gordon Fan, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, don't mind me, casually uh, being level. 914 times 400. Forza level loading glitch. Uh, but that is now my level. Oh, amazing. Why is it raining again? <laughs> it just always wants to rain. Uh, but I'm curious about getting rid of the car level system. How would you fix it? Uh, I remove level limits. Level limits and separate into limited and unlimited. Uh, uh, so we've got to get some people back connected. If you were... If you were to force it to remain as each car has to have an individual level, either speed up progression like massively so that it's only like half an hour to max a car out. Um, you could have all parts unlocked, start off with a much higher amount of, uh, of of car points. So let's let's say you had all parts unlocked and you started off with like two and a half thousand car points. That wouldn't be enough to completely max out a car, but you would have enough to build a car roughly how you would want and then be able to use it to get the rest. That would maybe be a better thing. So rather than having um, the current system whereby, wow, we got 200. Um, the thing I want most is a diff, which I cannot do yet. we have got to get to level nine for that. So yeah, if you were to say get rid of all of this system whereby they were locked, from the get-go, uh, but you started off with two and a half thousand points. You had to earn more for leveling the car up, but uh, so yeah, you couldn't max it, but you could offer you could upgrade it a fair bit. That I would say would be a better system than what we have here. Uh, not perfect, but definitely better than what we have. Uh, do I want that or do I want to go for that? I think I want to go for that. Um, I mean, honestly. The, the better systems, every better system, almost every better system I would come up with would just re involve get rid of it and do something different. Um, hey, dog. A bike went past. You hear the bike? Yeah. Hello. Apollo has turned up. I don't know whether you can actually see Apollo. Can you see Apollo? No, Apollo's too low. Okay, buddy. Hold on, we're getting people back in. So we can... If we just finish upgrading like this. Only got six, only gained six PI. I think where I broke that... Um, was a problem. I don't quite know why. Uh, if the rain is set, if the weather's set to heavy rain, I'll go change it. I could have sworn I set it to random. I don't know quite why. Um, quite why it's not. Oh, now we're applying. I have a horrible feeling this might break. Apollo, you gonna come say hello? Come on then. You gonna come up? Come on. There we go. Hello, dog. Oh, you're gonna headbutt everything. Here we go. Apollo. 
um, has come to say hello. I think I'm stuck in the applying upgrade screen. I have a feeling. The dog is the dog is here. Hey, buddy. You're, oh, you've hit you've hit the mic immediately. You normally you're allowed to come sit on my lap. However, ugh, am I not clean? I've had a shower today. I do not need. I do not need to be cleaned. Now you're gonna lick my arm. You weirdo. You're a right weirdo dog. I think I busted my game. <laughs> what are you doing? Ah, I, I, something's happened. We've broken things. Uh, excuse me, dog. I definitely do not need a clean. You can't sit there because the mic's in the way. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to reboot. My, I'm going to have to get back out. I don't know who's become host. Buddy, you're going to have to get off. You're going to have to get off. Look, I know you're a tool dog. Can you see this? <laughs> the, uh, the Belgian Malinois, very good at standing on their back legs. Uh, <laughs> he does this quite a lot. <laughs> He's a right weirdo. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's broken. Um, I think we're going to have to dashboard it and try again. <laughs> oh, Forza. Admittedly, it was, I say it was a lot my fault. I think the first bit broke. Um, I just I missed a setting. I don't know how I managed that, but we did. And second fault, not mine. <sighs> right. I love technical difficulty. I mean, to be fair, every, pretty much every Fail Race stream is. The technical difficulty stream is always something. Uh, can I have an invite <laughs> from the... Uh, from the fine people who may have survived the lobby. I don't know if the lobby actually survived or if everyone broke. Um, we will see. Um, oh yeah, Leopard's actually are quite like Leopard's idea is not bad either. I, that's that's quite a good one to do with the car upgrade system. So uh, the the car level doesn't restrict the upgrades, but how many classes you can increase it by? That's not too bad. So yeah, that that I could see that working. You could have. You know, let's say the car had like five levels. You might have to rework how much XP you get a little bit, but let's get the car at five or six levels, and that would be better. I still wouldn't like it, but that would be more manageable. Uh, that would be more more tolerable, pretty much. Um, but yeah, ba basically anything's better. Anything's better than the, the current the current crap. Uh, <laughs> alas, did my upgrades actually actually take? I don't know. Um, oh, did I set it to the full circuit? Oh, I didn't mean to. Well. I am no longer the host. Someone else is <laughs> is the host. I don't know if my upgrades actually took either. Let's go and try again. I should have done this in uh, single player before doing this. Okay, now that's how it works. It just broke. It just crashed while doing that. Um... Right, so, bunch of us at 286. Danger Man's managed to get one more PI out of it. I don't know. Don't quite know how he's done that. But, obviously, different combination of parts. So, yeah, there are different bits on the cars for everybody. Chris is going for the lowest PI at the moment. Everyone else, everyone else is going to be pretty similar. Uh, whoever is host... Oh, it looks like liveries might have loaded better this time. Well, they're loaded better in the lobby, whether they stay loaded or not. Um, I guess it might be Chris... Uh, who is host. Uh, I don't know if you can pass host. I presume not. Um, yeah, I'm going to guess I'm gonna guess not. Oh, we're off and underway. Uh, well, that means Chris, oh God, Chris is in charge going forward. Uh, <laughs> what a... <laughs> oh no, what have we done? After, we've, after today's video was all about I say making fun of, not completely making fun of Chris, but partially making fun of Chris. Uh, <laughs> somehow put Chris in charge. Speaking of Chris, thank you for the uh, donation. As saying, there's always at least two identical presidential limos uh, with matching plates in every motorcade, so attackers can't be sure which vehicle contains the president. During Biden's inauguration, there were seven deployed. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. Um, that does not surprise me in the slightest that they would have a, a setup. Like, that makes sense from, like, a strategic point of view. Have, uh, you know, it's like the old shell game, isn't it, basically? Um, you know, hopefully, unlikely to have come to that, but better safe than sorry. Uh, 
Right, this is already getting busy at light. So this is the chicane layout. I didn't actually mean to send it to the chicane layout, but I guess we are there. And oh dear, there is a purple car. That might be a hyper uh, has it having an adventure. There are some green cars having an adventure in the middle of the pack. Uh, I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm not sure who cars whose car it is. There's a car up there that I think says dentist on the back of it. It doesn't, but uh, yeah. Oh god, this is about to be dicey. There is someone who has gone. Yeah, completely. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if they had a huge amount of choice in that one. They were somewhat pushed, escorted wide. They, they weren't. They weren't expecting the uh, alternate layout. Then, whoa, Stevie is going through the middle. We are going to try and sneak our way through there. Oh, little bit of lag occurred there. Oh no, we overcorrected a touch. Uh, we are going to get dropped down the pack. When you're this close together in a one-make race, any little mistake is super costly. First lap, one-make race, a little mistake is going to cost you a bunch of positions. You'll get away with a bit more later on. You, well, you lose the same amount of time. You just lose a lot more positions, funnily enough, when everybody is all bunched together. And Pega is leading the way here. Uh, we are going to try. Can we sneak up the inside of Nine Tails? Possibly, possibly not. I'm not. I don't know. I'm not sure these E-Class cars really gain enough XP because the races are so short and they don't necessarily gain a huge amount. But we are going to try and cut underneath the Nine Tails. It's a bit. Uh, oh, Nine Tails gets on the curb. Nine Tails are very sideways. True Mark II escort style, right there. Uh, we will jump on the brakes. I'm hoping Nine Tails doesn't try and keep that car there. We've got a beautiful run up this hill. Thank you very much, Stevie. I will take that position from you. <laughs> yeah, so the advantage I had going is there. Stevie was having to be careful of all the cars in front, and I could just take a normal line, get the line I wanted, and carry all the speed in the world. Uh, we've got a good run on the exit there. Liam, go, 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 go. We're going to push Liam forward so I can try and get past Blakey and Brazen. I mean... It wasn't really a bad collision, that. Impego with a nice, comfortable lead at the moment. Um, we have gained a level up going on. That's something we'll get a little bit more in the way of upgrades for next race. I really want an upgraded diff, but I don't know whether we're going to get to the level for it. It'll cost a lot of points. It doesn't give me any PI, but I think it'll make this car so much nicer than the one-tire fire that we have going on here. Chris... I think at the lowest PI of everybody, but we're only talking by a very small margin here. Uh, we are not going to get past Liam like this. Can we do what we did to Nine Tails? Just focus on a good exit here? Not quite. Stevie's in the battle with Brazen further back. No, not going to be able to do anything down here. Chris is going to... Oh, uh, well, Chris has got that one wrong. <laughs> I was following Chris. Never a good idea. Never a good idea if we again get a run up the hill. We've, we've allowed Stevie and Brazen and Co. all to catch up in doing that. Oh, that's deep under braking. You'll get away with this in terms of lap time because you can kind of cut back to the apex. However, you will leave yourself vulnerable to a pass, which thankfully Chris couldn't do. Oh, that curve's a bit bobbly. Don't hit the curve too hard. You will be thrown around. Things to avoid. Uh, <laughs> Right, we're up to four. Considering where we started, not displeased with the climb up through the pack. Whether we can climb any further, that is the big question. Not sure who has caught Impega at the front. I don't know who it is in second. Cannot see a nameplate. Can't remember the running order particularly. They're going for a pass by Impega. At least, at least the... Uh, leaderboard race structure seems to be working. So Chris is still holding on to that fifth. My car seems to be working really well, which I'm very, very pleased about. Uh, it seems to have gone the right way. Oh, there's contact. It was Ollie versus Impega. Uh, Impega ended up visiting the grass, gets away with it. Ollie loses out. I was wide under braking at the chicane there. Uh, we, I think we bounced the curb a little bit, but we were actually on such a bad line. We lost time regardless. Uh, so Impega is going to be potentially coming under fire from the two cars behind. Oh, I watched the <laughs> I watched, watched the two cars ahead cut, and I probably was a bit greedier than both of them. Uh, whoops. Um, 
I love how it's saying there's collisions going on with Aaron and Chris and Danger Man. They're not me. I'm nowhere near their collisions. Uh, <laughs> I mean, oh, there's some rally cross in the background occurred. It happens on the... It happens here, especially in the wet. Liam's going to go to the inside. And Pega struggling a little bit around here uh, with that car. Maybe, maybe went for different upgrades slightly. Ollie's definitely got some pace looking for a way past. I am, I don't know where the third is what I want particularly through here. I was going for get some traction out of here. Eh, it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem terrible. It doesn't seem terrible. We're going to get maybe up to car level five by the end. We should get up to car level five by the end of this race. It's all, no, still struggling to get that slowed down. Ah, damn it. Need to break earlier. I wasn't even thinking, I didn't even think I was being silly on that one. Uh, I also should probably take some fuel out of the car. <laughs> we don't need 50 laps of fuel for a seven lap race. Uh, Liam is continuing to lead the way. We are much better through that chicane this time out. Blakey and Blakey and Brazen are the cars behind us. So Chris has gone backwards a little bit. We're going to have any more contacts coming up for other cars? Don't know. Uh, we are around that final corner, yeah. We need some mayhem in front. I've had a couple of scruffy laps. I've just been too, been too poor laps in a row. have just dropped me away from the leaders. Can't really afford laps like that. I would really say that the leaders are going very sideways and they are now going to go three wide. That is the sort of stuff that will help bring me and Brazen into this fight. So I'm trying second gear through here. Don't know if I prefer it, uh, but we get a lot more wheel spin through here. Uh, it feels about the same sort of speed, really. Brazen is right behind now. I'm going. So I think I keep breaking down here where I would in the dry, which is not what I want. Uh, still got, still too late. Brazen's still got speed coming up here. Probably your best spot for an overtake is if you can get that climb up the hill correctly, which we can't. And yeah, outrun the car you are racing. We will give Brazen some space. Blake is going to turn up there. We'll not be able to do much, though. Nine Tails is in seventh. Okay. I have had a little bit of a scrappy couple of laps. If we can have a good... Oh, no. Ah, God damn it. I sort of counter-steered it slightly. It's got sliding on us. Again, it's that little overcorrection. That, that is the only little, I say the controller thing. If you're on a wheel, I don't think I'd end up doing that. It's the figuring out how much counter steer you need to put on with a controller when you get that little slide that uh, I have been, I say, slightly struggling with. The ray, well, I mean, you wouldn't be doing it, it wouldn't be as much of a problem with the drive. Thing. But uh, yeah, that's a couple of times now. I've done basically the same, but basically the same thing in this race. Where it's just slid and I've gone to catch it, but got a bit too much the other way. Uh, annoying, but that is, you know, it is what it is. And we will hopefully get better. Uh, it's been a bit a, a frustrating, scruffy end to this one. Uh, Nine Tails is not too far back. Whether we can do anything about Blakey or Brazen again. Brazen out a little bit wide through there. Uh, we will attack the chicane. Nine Tails is sideways. Blakey's got a good run, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure going around the outside of the final corner is really the way to do it. Blakey's turn to have a bit of a switch, not quite as big as mine, through there. Uh, <laughs> we've got a better lap time going on. Oh, I thought that was the. I thought there was one more uh, lap to go. There wasn't. It's sixth. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah. There there was definitely definitely more from me in that. I mean, we were there or thereabouts. However, um, yeah, just a little bit of overcorrecting went on. Liam took victory and Pega held on to second at the end. Ollie could only manage third. Um, I didn't see the rest of the table in time. I think it was in Brazen and the Brazen and Blakey. Then it was me, the Nine Tails, and I didn't see who was behind that. I'll take a sixth though. Sixth, not too bad. The car in third is just not allowed on the podium. No, nope, Ollie, no podium for uh, <laughs> podium for you. 
Uh, Liam took the victory here. Ollie's car's not even there. There is no... Ollie's, Ollie's frustrated. Ollie's doing a Lance Stroll and just stormed off, despite having got a third, which is not exactly that bad. We've got like anti-roll bars. They're not really what I want, though. What do we do? Do we go power? Do we go brakes, maybe? I think brakes are the way to go. Possibly. Here. Yeah. Well, we'll see what Chris... Chris is in charge. Dear God, help us all. Uh, James Anderson, thank you very much for the donation. I uh, say, so my solution to Forza career modes, you have a sandboxy arcade mode where you can easily get stuff for, for free play, multiplayer, etc. And then you have the main career mode that can be the old the old school slow progression that's just, that's just walled off from that. Best of both worlds. I guess you could do... Yeah, I mean, I guess you could do where the... Um, the single player has like the individual car XP, but that's ignored when it goes to mod. So single the single player championships, the car XP is a thing, but it's only in there. So your gar your car XP only really applies to single player. You still earn money. You can buy cars and multiplayer and free play is is free. Um, oh, who is in charge? If it isn't Chris, I don't I don't know who it is. I I only I only guessed it being Chris. Um, I don't actually know who is in charge. I only guess it being Chris because everyone was ready up and um, I thought Chris was the one that wasn't. But uh, yeah, the bike drove past. That's why the dog went woof. Uh, the dog's wandered off to his other bed. The dog has two beds. He's got the bed behind me over here. There's another bed over there that you can't see. Um, of course, the one that's on camera. Um, the <laughs> what? Don't you bark at me. It was a bike. There's a lot of bikes around here that go past. He's just got his buffalo horn. Uh, right. What are we doing? This track. Don't know this track very well. Uh, custom upgrade. Let's go have a look. What can I now do? Anti-roll bars. Pretty useless. Ooh, they're not useless. You could stick going... I mean, do I go... I guess I can max out the tyre widths. I can actually max out front and rear tyre widths. I'm hoping for a bit more grip. Uh, I mean, you can't really do any crazy. The only thing you could have done perhaps differently is get a bit more power in it. Yeah, you could have got more power. I'm going for the handling. I'm hoping he's going to start me further up the front. Oh, not, Ninetales might be the host. Oh, uh, that's okay. <laughs> I trust Ninetales to host. <laughs> uh, what have we got going on? So, we're at 289. It, it, it's starting to diverge. Ollie's bunged a load of power in it. So, I'm guessing Brazen, Ninetales, Aaron, and Ollie have just thrown power in it. I've gone for a little bit of grip in here. Danger Man's now the lowest PI. From the highest to the lowest PI. Uh, it's not big changes, though. But uh, the builds are potentially... Well, builds are diverting. I mean, you can actually... You can look at the little graph and see... So Danger Man's got more acceleration, but slightly worse handling than Speed Beast. What handling do I have? I have... I'm at 1.5. Chris is at 1.3. So Chris is... I don't know how Chris's car is like that, but there we go. Um, I mean, I think I'm ready here. Uh, oh, I can take fuel out, can't I? I completely forgot. Let's go and dump a whole load of fuel out of the car. We don't need 40 laps worth of fuel. Uh, we will take 20 laps worth of fuel. Cause I, uh, sorry, 20% worth of fuel. 10, 10 laps worth of fuel. I can't remember how long. Oh, it said 5 laps. Uh, I can probably dump out a little bit. Oh, never mind. We're off. Uh, I don't. The last thing you want to do is run out of fuel. So we'll play it a little bit safe. We'll play it a little bit cautiously. Um... We are kind of mid-pack at the moment. We are we are mid mid-pack, which I'm fine with. Uh, we've got hopefully grip. Although I'm not sure this. Uh, well, there are some fast corners here. I'm not sure this circuit is the one for the grip being the most significant factor. But we'll have to wait and see. Brazen is making an appearance now. Uh, oh, okay. Didn't want second gear through there. Uh, that's fine. We should be able to get on the... Oh, I really would like a diff. Please, please give me a diff. Uh, <laughs> Nine Tails is on the march. So they've got the slightly faster cars in a straight line. 
Will they be able to be flat through here? Oh, there's a tangle, there's a bump. Someone's up onto two wheels. The crash is heading back towards the circuit. Where is my slipstream? This is one of the fictional circuits, one of the new tracks um, to the game. Newer tracks to the game. Uh, whoa. There's more speed that can be taken through there. Um, whoa. We got caught on someone's bumper. Uh, I presume that was a Liam's bumper we got a little bit stuck on. See, I want to carry more speed into God. Well, there's a difficulty between two of the cars up ahead. Yeah, see, I, I want to take more speed through these corners if I can. But the problem, and there's always the problem with the handling car, is, well, my, my two problems are can't carry corner speed when cars ahead are blocking. And I can't carry corner speed because my diff is so bad. We desperately, desperately need a better diff because any, time, any sort of corner speed I take, the rear wheel is just in the air and spinning. So while I can probably carry, I can, you know, clearly carry more speed than the cars ahead, I just can't put my power down uh, out the other side because one tyre fire complains. I was hoping the tyre widths would help, but I think they maybe do a little bit, but it's not great. Brazen's rocket ship is doing well. Ollie is going to get to the inside and will now pass. That one star, yeah, that, the, <laughs> the diff is frustrating. The diff is really frustrating. Here comes Aaron as well with the speed boxes. Uh, can we go around the outside of some cars here? Maybe. Yeah, I just can't chuck it in. Oh, don't know him. Oh, no. Uh, I mean, Aaron will be more, oh, I say, will be slightly more frustrated on that one, but we've just got caught up again. We're just being an innocent bystander in other people's accidents here and it's costing us almost as much time that's annoying and I can't this year, I can't make up the time very well because we're in bloody traffic uh, I mean the tyre widths will serve us well going forward perhaps but they're certainly not serving us well enough here uh, well, we need to be level 9 I don't think we're going to get I don't think we're actually going to get to use a diff in this car, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, can we get underneath Hyper through here? We can. Right, get that wheel on the ground. Get that wheel on the ground. Stop spinning your unloaded rear tyre, please. Thank you very much, Ford. We've passed a car. That's something. Can we... Can we pass some more cars? I mean, we're basically pushing Chris up this hill. Try to settle the car a little bit better. Hyper's wanting to have a look, so I guess if Hyper has the power that I do not, will not have the grip, I presume. Hyper's going to the inside of Chris. Oh, well, I was going to try and go underneath, but we got pushed into that muddy corner. Oh, we can't catch a break in this race. Uh, <laughs> we cannot catch a break at all in this one. Right, be neat through here. So you see the mid-quarter speed that I can get, but now I'm just stuck behind a slow-moving Chris. Speedways won't be able to carry that momentum that we are carrying. Uh, because of, well, A, because of the wonky line, and B, because of the um, uh, lack of grip in comparison. We may pass Chris on this bit, but now I'm to the outside for turn one. We'll try and send it. If it's all possible, we can. We can cut across and we can make that pass stick. Uh, come along, wheel, get on the ground. Cover that inside line. <laughs> Don't let Chris sneak back past. He's going to be the goal. Shall I get a little sideways on a curb? We will try and follow Hyper down here. Get into some sort of slipstream. It'll help us a little bit, maybe. And we're going to get upset over that curb. Not going to make it easy for Chris. Looks like Ollie's having an argument with somebody. Oh, big crash! Who is that? Stevie's fallen over! Stevie's fail raced it before me! <laughs> Stevie's had a big rollover on the outside there. I wasn't really paying attention. Fantastic. Well, not fantastic for Stevie. Fantastic for me. Fantastic for me as well as Danger Man and Ollie and everybody's had a big old squabble. Uh, I'm going to say thank you very much. We're going to maybe steal an eighth place here off of and Ollie, which we do get. Now we might lose it down the next straight, but I will take positions where I can get them. 
once we can run it into turn one very, very quickly, hopefully, uh, we will come out of the final corner. We are in eighth. Okay, much better lap. Much better lap for us here. Uh, Ollie's looking the long way round. Understandable. Well, it's to be expected, really, isn't it? We, we will dive under brakes into turn one. Try and cover that inside. Try and not let Ollie find a way past on that inside line. We've gained some ground on Hyper. It had, it, for us, I mean, this is really the battle for us here, is the battle over seven. There's a humongous scrap behind us. Uh, there's a, quite a big scrap in front of Hyper as well. Um, yeah, in front of Hyper as well. We're trying to get that run through here. Uh, there is an overlap. Hyper cannot come across, but there's no slipstream for me because we are alongside now. Ollie with the momentum, but probably, I say probably, I'm hoping, will not have the grip through here, do we? Uh, open up the steering as soon as we can. Uh, Danger Man is going to cut underneath Hyper and may well get both of us here. Although Hyper is going to stick the nose through the middle. No, nope, Hyper is going to have to back out of that one. We can maintain this line. The only problem is we will maintain it here. No, nope, my diff just gave up. The, the diff just gave up the will to put power down. It's doing it again. Oh, and now we're being assisted by an Ollie. That's so frustrating. Uh, <laughs> I'm really frustrated with my diff. Really, really, really hating it. There is, there is a, there is a lot of hatred for this diff. I just can't. I've got so much grip, but I can't use it. There's no point in having all that grip when I can't bloody put any of it down. It just spins it away. Ugh. I mean, we got to eighth. It was, uh, it, it ebbed and flowed. <laughs> it ebbed and flowed. Uh, that one. I mean, that's, that's an old car for you, you know, that's, that's an old Escort for you. Uh, but yeah, I think just, just the brute force approach was the better way to go. Maybe better suspension to stop the body roll, that might do the trick. Because we know one's going to have a dip, no one can get a diff. Um, ah, so Brazen's apparently a level ahead of us. Anti-roll bar is the way to go. Uh, is what we are hearing. <laughs> I guess anti-roll bar makes sense. Like, I was thinking the suspension stops the um, body roll, but anti-roll bar is also going to do, funnily enough, the same job. So, Ninetales is in charge. Ninetales will pick a new track um, for us. Uh, also, I did notice... Do, 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 uh, where did it go? Uh, Petrolhead, thank you very much for the... Uh, Super Chat saying, I heard that Frozen 3 is in production, and it seems that they ain't ever going to let it go. I know this will get a boo, but screw it. You will get a boo. You are deserving of a boo right there. Uh, while I couldn't read it while the race was going on, I do think you are very deserving of a boo. Oh, <laughs> I don't know this track very well. I don't know this track very well at all. The beans. Uh, <laughs> never been good at VIR. Cool circuit. I have never been good at it, though. So, we got, hey, we've got 200 points to spend. Which is 150 dollar race anti-roll bar at the back. I uh, can't do that. I mean, I feel like my tyre, I feel like I'm happy with my tyres. So that, no, that's 100, that's 200. If we take that off and put that on, no, that technically loses us API. I'm thinking that will make it lighter. That's 134 horsepower. That's higher, okay, it's more power, the other one's lighter. Yeah, let's stick with the more power. <laughs> it's not got much, so <laughs> it's not got much. I think that's the way I want to go. Basically, roll bar. Uh, so yeah, I was gonna have a, we'll have a look before we're ready up. So I'm car level seven. Oh, it's not working. <laughs> God damn it! Why did I expect it to be working? How foolish am I? Uh, <laughs> no, the levels aren't showing properly. Well, maybe one day they will. I'm gonna guess, maybe not, but you know, Chris is going on pole. Danger Man's gone down in PA. Think or not? No, yeah, Danger Bear's gone down in PI because Danger Bear was Stevie's third, Blakey's up in fourth. 
I mean, Brazen's up in PI. Brazen's down in 13th. I'm hoping this anti-roll bar is going to help. <laughs> so we are allowed... Oh, I was going to dump out some fuel as well. Dump out all of the fuel. Don't know how many laps we're doing, but let's have enough for, like, six laps. Actually, I can, if I keep going... Oh, feature race is four laps. So let's just go. Let's leave it, leave, give it an extra lap of fuel. Extra lap of fuel. Um, I don't mind starting in 10th. I feel like my car's gonna be a bit better, a bit, a bit happier now. I think I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to take the grip if I can use it. Um, well, there's a little bit. Of, oh no, gone up a position. Someone's obviously rebuilt their car and gone, gone down. So yeah, Danger Man starting on pole. Uh, we've got up another position actually as people are confirming changes. Uh, oh, oh, people have disconnected. Also, distinct possible. Oh, yeah, people have disconnected. I'm gonna guess. I have a sneaky feeling. That the disconnection are people like me that were building cars and when they went to go and confirm the changes, it's crashed. Did I say I love Forza? <laughs> that is unbelievably, unbelievably reliable and no problems at all. It's absolutely perfect. <laughs> Uh, it is Apollo in the background. Yes, we have got dog camera. Apollo has his favourite... Well, he has his favourite thing to chew on, the buffalo horn. He loves them. I have two of them. This is... The, I have an upstairs. We have, we have one in the office. I have one in the in the dining room. It's kind of, Well, I say it's a dining room. It's really Apollo's room. Um, but, uh, yeah, he loves buffalo horns. He will sit on chewing them for ages. This one, I mean, it started off as a fairly decent sized one. He's munched and munched on it for months. It's one of the few things that a Mali can't destroy. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, he does, but slowly, over time. It takes a long time. Um, but yeah, Mali's quite good at destruction. Uh, well, I say, he's, he's, he's pretty good. I can't, I can't complain too much about everything. Uh, right, so Speed Beast will get dumped further down the grid when it refreshes, although it's still building. Uh, we've got Liam and now, yeah, okay, I think we're, we're waiting for Gliska and, oh no, Gliska's back, we're waiting for Ollie, I think, to get back. <sighs> we, who knows what's going to happen. I, <laughs> oh, Stevie has been released from the medical centre and cleared to race. Oh, well, that's good to hear. Have you rebuilt your escort after your very big role? I mean, really, really goddamn big role. Uh, Stevie is actually the first on on film role of Forza Motorsport. Even before me, Stevie managed to find a way to roll over. I would have done a will it roll video, except for the piss take it is to try and earn enough XP to be able to get all the bits you bloody need. It will happen at some point. It will happen. Um, but yeah. Stevie's fine. The car's rebuilt. Uh... We're going. It is racing time. Let's see what might occur here at VIR. We're again going to be a bit mid-ish pack. I feel like... I, I feel like we are probably going to end up mid-pack. I don't... I don't think... I think the way I've gone with this car I think is wrong. I don't necessarily think it's a bad a bad way to go, but with the bits I have access to, I don't think I'm able to make the most of my grip. So, we will see. We start in ninth, which is very much middle of the pack. Uh, we are off and underway. Liveries are not loading, bar gliskers. Uh, Speed Beast has got a good start. We do not have as much acceleration as Longbow or Speed Beast. That's for sure. Now, in theory, we should have more grip. Well, I would turn, but Brazen clipped the rear. Um, yeah, so, basically, Brazen tapped the rear. Oh, there's a big twitch for somebody. That's going across the track. Sorry, Ninetales. That, that was a panic and try and dodge whatever the hell was going on. I don't actually know who it was. Liveries are broken again. Uh, but, yeah, no idea who was having a massive problem there. But we dove out of the way. I'm across the grass. Uh, we will not. Well, we, were, we were not going to gain that place anyway. I love how it didn't get. Well, actually, no, it doesn't give you a warning if you go off the track. It can only really be a penalty. Blakey and someone tangled. We are going to try and dodge. 
There's a gap somewhere down here. I thank you very much for the donation, by the way, that came in. A, a woolala to you, but I cannot read it because I've got to concentrate on my race here. Uh, we will go on the brakes. Ninetales going to look to the outside. I doubt that's going to work. We are up the hill quite nicely, but now I've got no power to get away uh, from the cars behind. I'm hoping I can carry some good speed. Is that hyper with a little bit of grass track racing? It looks like it. it recovers, but recovers in a really awkward place. Uh, we are going to be quick theory through this section. Oh, not quite the space. Is the, the anti-roll bar doing much? Can't quite tell. Certainly still wants to spit up one rear wheel. I can tell you that much. Uh, we are into the final corner. We're going to go around the outside of Hyper. Liam's going to make that one work as well. Someone is off on the grass. If we can get a good run out here, we should pass them. It's Ewan uh, doing some exploring of the uh, <laughs> outside of the track. Where is Brazen is a good question. It, it, is, it is a pressing, a pressing matter. We're going to force Liam to go the long way around down here, uh, which might be difficult for Liam. More difficult if I struggle to stop the car. Uh, come on. Find some... Jesus, this diff is... It, it, it's so infuriating with how it just doesn't want to put the power down. Oh, we are going to get stuck out wide here. Hyper's even worse off than we are. Uh, it's, it's so infuriating. Uh, next car we do this with is not going to be a classic. Because <laughs> you just... You just... I say you just can't. I mean, there are, I'm sure there are ways. I do not have the... I don't have the patience for this car, I don't think. Um, it's it's too frustrating for me. So we're just... We're being too aggressive with it. Um, oh. That's... No, we're stuck. Oh, we've got those crappy collisions. It's like... It's almost as bad as the GTA ones. So when I end up stuck on like that on Blakey, I physically, it's like it disconnects my steering from the bloody car. It just wants to go straight on, that's all it does. And while I appreciate a car in the rear corner does do that to an extent, this feels almost as bad as GTA. Uh, it doesn't quite spear you off randomly. No, I'm gonna get angry at the diff again. <laughs> you know, my car started off really nice. My car started off really nice, but it's just gone horrible. Well, I say it's gone horrible. It just doesn't work how, how I'm wanting it to, pretty much. Uh, come on, balance yourself. Because we have to be so aggressive compared to... I say compared to everything, but that lack of potential lack of power. I don't know. It's just not very nice drive. Brazen has got to the front, as expected, really. I don't know. I didn't... As everything was shuffling around, um, didn't see where Brazen ended up on the grid. We will slow down for turn one. We are going to end up trying to look for a way past Hyper. Yeah, you see, if I don't, if I don't go aggressive on the throttle, we just get beaten by everything in acceleration. So my options seem to be either spin the tires like crazy, uh, this race, just fall over, be done with it. We're changing cars after this. I'm not driving another t another minute with this without a diff. I mean, that wasn't really Stevie's fault. On that one, I was expecting a slightly earlier turn in from them. I, I just loathe this car. I, I hate to say to Escort fans out there, I absolutely loathe the way this drives. It's, it's awful for me. If you can make it work, fantastic. Good for you, great. This is... The, this is the sort of car that I, I absolutely... Well, I actually would prefer it oversteered. I pref would prefer it oversteered to this. Um, this is horrible. <laughs> like, uh, don't get me wrong. I am sure people more suited to this car can drive it. That's fine. But this is the absolute epitome of awful for my driving style. It doesn't work at all. Um, so there we go. Yeah, uh, it will go in the bin. After the well, we haven't unlocked a diff, so maybe well, the diff would make it a hundred times better, um, but uh, it will go in the bin after this. This spec certainly will never see the light of day again. Oh, we got a bobble going down the bump there, and that is well, I say the end of that. Mercifully, there is 
one more lap to go, and then we can never drive drive it like this ever again. Uh, don't think we're going to really be able to do much from here. Not going to be able to send it to the. Well, I mean, we could send it to the inside of turn one, but even if we did, it wouldn't matter because. I wonder whether my tyres have actually made this worse. Jeez, this is so bad. See, my, option, <laughs> my options are horrifically limited in terms of what on earth can I do. On, we are so slow accelerating. It's awful. I don't why, why have I broken it? have I broken it? So it was so good. The first couple of races, we were genuinely really quick. And now it has just gone awful. What have I done to make this so bad? I don't, I don't know what I've done. <laughs> I don't know how this has combined to be so awful. Uh, but there we go. Yeah, it's just, it's just garbage. But we will move on to another car next. We won't have to drive this, and we will hopefully have a more pleasant experience, pretty much. Uh, Shadow is behind us, having a bit of a look. There's probably, there might be a trick that the others have discovered. Oh, someone's had a spin up ahead. Chris is off. Uh, there may be some tuning trick that someone has figured out. I mean, if Brazen is technically a level ahead of people, Brazen would have a diff and none of the others of us would. Also possible. Um, who knows? But, uh, oh, and there is an off for a speed beast on the final lap. But yeah, if there's some tuning trick that they figured out that I haven't, could be, could just be work with how I want to drive it. Uh, but there we go. Well, it's going to be a 13th. Hateful, hateful car. And it will be a 13th across the line for us. Well. That's shocking. Now, that was this just awful. Uh, it looked like a fun, looked like it could have been a fun race further up. Um, for everybody. My, the big tyres on mine were useless. Absolutely pitiful. Um, maybe maybe upgrades better spent uh, elsewhere. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> who knows? But oh, we've got all the people on the podium this time. Liam actually appeared. Th third place appeared on the podium. And Pega was second. And Brazen has taken the victory uh, with the escorts that liveries aren't, aren't showing. Uh, so there we go. Uh, Tombi, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying Apollo the Destroyer. Somehow that fits in all, in all the senses, which is terrifying. Uh, <laughs> Apollo, you are the destroyer of, of things. Thankfully not of my house. Uh, Apollo is fairly nice at, uh, at not destroying my house, which is which is good. Uh, right, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going. We're going to. I'm going to make a new lobby. Uh, <laughs> going to make a new lobby so I can be host. Not that I mind Nine Tails being host, but we will go and create a new lobby. We'll get people back in. We will change our vehicles. Um, you can suggest what you would like to see us drive. It has to be something relatively cheap and sort of not race cars. It's got to be stuff that's, that's very upgradable. Um, but yes, you can suggest. We will see. Um, going to start at Catalonia National because I like this track. Everyone's going to probably moan at me, but I like this track. So, <laughs> so screw the lot of you. Uh, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, all right, grid ordering, PI, that, roll to do any of that, end of race timer, that's what we want it to be uh, a little bit bigger, just so everybody has a chance to finish. If you have a bit of a bad race, we shall uh, get that loading along the way. Um, did Lombo watch try something new? Yeah, um, I do as well. <laughs> I want something with a diff that actually works. It would be, it would be beautiful, it would be wonderful. Uh, to have an actual good diff. Uh, I don't know what I set the weather to. I am going to go put the weather back to random. Uh, just leave it that like that for now. Event settings. Don't remember what I set the weather to. Weather is a thunderstorm. No, no. I want the weather to be random. Okay. There we go. Right. 
Uh, well, once I got one of them in, they will be able to get the rest of them in. We're going to go with that. <laughs> we will just go magically hope that um, they can... So they'll sort it out. They'll sort it out. Uh, so everyone has to be in the same car. We can't have multiple. For this to work, um, for this to actually work, work as a game mode, we have to get... Uh, everybody has to be in the same vehicle, of course. Everyone has to be in the same vehicle that they have zero levels in. Uh, Apollo, you're making a lot of noise. You're currently being a lack. I don't know if you can see this. Can you? See? No, you can't see this. Uh, right? Can we? This is what we've got. Current land shark going on over here. He's sp sort of spread out, chomping away on the uh, the buffalo. <laughs> I don't know whether you can hear it. No idea if you can hear that in the background. Uh, apparently, no one's bloody joining. Guys, there's 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 a reason why. Uh, uh, I don't know what's going on with this. Who is online that I can invite? <laughs> Look, there is a reason why. I'm, I'm going to guess. Like, I'm going to guess that something's broken. And, oh, no, now they are. Now that something's worked. Uh, right. What car do... What car do I like the sound of? from the selection here. 350Z, not a bad shout. Um, I mean, I like, I like the pure DS3 racing. That could be interesting. It's front wheel drive. Um, and they haven't been in for a while. Um, I don't know whether they've got a terrible diff. Uh, <laughs> That's that's the big thing, is I don't know whether they have a terrible diff to start with. They're, they're going to be better, but let's go and have a look at, uh, at buying some cars. I'm not driving something old uh, after the horrific horrific escort. I refuse to. Uh, I don't think we can paint cars in the... I don't think we can paint cars. I mean, you, might be able to, you might be able to have different colours when you buy the car. I don't think you can do the uh, paint shop. I'm not driving the Cadillac prototype. Because uh, it doesn't really work for what we're doing. I mean, we could we could please Longbow by driving the CT4 or CT5. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not driving one of those. Um, or we could drive the ATSV, of course. Uh, just, just, let's have a look. See, I'm, I'm contemplating... I actually saw a C5 Corvette today, which is very... It's rare over here. It's rare, rare over here. Um... I'm tempted by the DS. I feel like the DS could be fun, but I do fear that DS3. I do fear the diff might be terrible. That's the that is the thing. Uh, the new Nissan Z that is available. Uh, I think pretty sure. Yeah, pretty sure it is. Do, 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 somewhere over here. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be opposed actually to that one. That should be here. It is the Nissan Z. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's go for it. So it's a bit faster. It's much faster. Well, it's a much faster. Actually, it was well, a much faster car. Much more modern car. I'm, I'm happy to go with the. I'm happy to go with the Nissan Z. That feels like a good idea. Uh, let's go and. So let's all get Nissan Z. Oh, it doesn't let you change the color of the car there. That's annoying. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of yellow Zs uh, <laughs> going on in here. So. We are going to go with, uh, with with the new new Felix. I like this car. It's a real shame we don't get it over here. Um, real, real shame that that we don't get this car in in England. I don't quite know. I don't quite know why. Uh, I think we're supposed to do like a missions or some bollocks. Now we do get to upgrade it, but what do you go for? You don't have because you don't have anything really available. Uh. Probably, it's probably going to be the old exhaust and air filter. Now, it might not have a limited slip diff, but it will be a million times better than the Escort. <laughs> it won't do it won't do the same thing. Uh, so that'll be fine. It, with, the, with the limited amount of upgrades we'll get to, it won't have problems I wouldn't expect. 
but we will see. Uh, yeah, Ballas is a thing in, in this game, which is cool. Uh, it is a terrible shame that it's in the broken part of the game, but... <laughs> but, you know, there we go. I suspect... I suspect there's going to be a lot of 570 PR, but maybe a couple might go for breaks to try and start further up in the field, basically. It's possible. Um, Chris, thank you very much for the donations. And Porsche offers a service called uh, Sonderunsk. I don't know how to pronounce it. This allows you to create uh, one-off products, such as a convertible Panamera, Taycan... Uh, Dakar, etc. Literally any Porsche you want. However, the waiting list is currently eight years and it costs 100,000 just to get on it. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Uh, yeah. It, it doesn't surprise me that... I mean, I think a lot of companies like Bentley and Rolls-Royce, if you have enough money, they will they will build you whatever car you want. Um, so it doesn't, it doesn't surprise me that they have a system along those lines um i'm gonna i'm sure there's gonna be some really cool things come out of it i guess though let's face it if you've got the money to have a custom one of a kind crazy spec porsche the hundred grand to get on the waiting list is probably irrelevant to you like the cost of you know the cars are going to be million plus well maybe not a convertible panamera is probably the most expensive like a taycan dakar is going to cost a load to create uh i bet so yeah, yeah. <laughs> if if the hundred thousand pounds a problem, you probably can't afford the car anyway. So <laughs> there you go. But that, I did not know, did not know they they had that as a system. But it really doesn't, really doesn't surprise me. Um, the, and I, I think manufacturers will. I think we will see more manufacturers are going to go down that go down that route because people are wanting. Uh, bespoke vehicles and if manufacturers can make money why not oh how big is the fuel tank i don't trust this car i really don't trust that car's reckoning five percent fuel will get us around five lap. i mean it's okay actually i could probably i can pro i probably should make this event a little bit longer because these cars are a bit faster so we'll go up to seven laps uh Yeah, something's all weird with that. I don't trust it. I'm just gonna put 25% fuel. It might be a little bit overfueled, but I'd, I'm just gonna go for that. That seems like it seems like it's fine. Um, uh, Drake, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, let's make a better joke or two than Petrolhead made. You're gonna get booed. I'm just gonna tell you now. Uh, so what's what's worse than it raining cats or dogs hailing Ubers? That is going to get you a boo. That is going to get you a boo right there. Uh, was it a, a lorry overturned on the M6? It's spilling lots of Vicks vapor up. Apparently, the accident caused no congestion for eight hours. Equally, equally very boo worthy. Equally, both very boo worthy. Uh, as MPS rolled it. Well, we will see. We will see what might transpire uh, during this during this race. Uh, a lot of cars at 570 pi. Longbow may be the only one going a different route. There are some different coloured cars. <laughs> it's, I, I, it's a shame when you buy the car, you at least don't get um, the option to paint it. I can't do anything like, paint car-wise in here, unfortunately. This is just the way that it uh, the way that it goes. Um, we will try and get Brazen back in to go and beat all of us. I think we might have lost a few more to car painting or something. So, it does look like Longbow's trying the different route. Brazen, that's... <laughs> that's definitely not what you were supposed to be in. Well, that's better. I mean, it's not great, but it is better. <laughs> Alright, we've got Stevie back as well, I think. And we've got the Man of Danger. Now, I wonder if Hyper and Ewan are going for no upgrades, but start on pole. It's possible they're forgotten. But uh, they may have gone for no upgrades, start higher up the order. Nine Towers, Longbow, and Liam have all gone for different upgrades. Most of us have just chucked power at it. 
but I guess we will see. Uh, yeah, the fuel is weird. I would put like 25% fuel in and we'll hope that works. Pfft. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of pit stops, I fear. Uh, Bean, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, why was the Italian restaurant closed? Uh, the chef, he passed away. Uh, you're going, most definitely, to get a boo from me. And I am sure from chat. I have no doubt chat is going to give you a boo uh, right there. It would be very, it is very well deserving of a boo. Uh, <laughs> we almost got everybody ready. We're back up to 16 people. Uh, I don't know who we're missing. Ollie? No, Ollie's here. Don't know, someone may have dropped out along the way. So yeah, Hyper, you and potentially going for the no upgrades. Longbow, Ninetales, go. Longbow, Ninetales, Liam going for a different route. Only a couple of PI different, but uh... <laughs> Praise and saying why chicane. Because I actually prefer this layout. I prefer this national layout to the other layout. Is it like the, the full the full Catalonia? Um, I don't mind. I, I, I like the new one, but I prefer this layout for the national circuit. Um, especially in cars like this. Like, cars like this can overtake in the chicane. Formula 1 cars, GT cars, you know, can't really. But uh, these kind of cars can. So, why not? <laughs> Basically. Uh, right, are we almost all ready? We're waiting for Longbow. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Uh, oh, Doggo, eh, Doggo is on his bed. There we go. We can kind of see. What way do I need to shuffle that way? Kind of see Doggo. Uh, <laughs> uh, right, everybody is ready. Let us start the race. I'm not holding out a huge amount of hopes, but we will. We will get. We're gonna give it a damn good shot. <laughs> that's that's what we're gonna do here. Give it a damn good go. Stevie's disconnected. Well, no car XP for Stevie. That is the other slight issue. If you have a disconnect, oh, and Ewan's dashboarded. Hopefully it's only two. Looks like it's only two. Very foggy day here at Catalonia, but that's okay. That's fine. We shall try and make this work. Uh, we are off the line not too terribly. We're going to try and follow Ollie. Uh, Longbow's vehicle. So we we're expecting Longbow to be slightly slower. Oh, it's all gone. It's all gone wrong at turn one. Me and Ninetales. Well, I got through it quite well. Ninetales survived the contacts as good as possible. We're trying to give Ninetales space. Oh, we gave Ninetales a bit too much Gave Ninetales too much room. And we've given Brazen an opportunity to move up a place, uh, which is never good. We know uh, Brazen is, is very, very fast here. Uh, so we don't we don't need to give Brazen any more opportunities than they have already got. And I don't so this corner down here, I'm not a big fan of the redesign. Um, it might work for Formula One cars, but for what I like racing, it doesn't really particularly work, uh, but, you know, it's still, it's still not, not too bad, yeah, I don't, listen, I don't mind the chicane, I don't mind the chicane for this kind of car, Formula One car absolutely is terrible, but for these kind of cars, I don't mind this, this section particularly, uh, now, we are taking a quite different line through there than Brazen and Ninetales, we attack the curve very hard through that part, Around the final corner we go. Who dares stamp on the throttle soon? As Ninetales put a wheel in the sand, ever so slightly. Brazen's going to chase them across the track. I am happy to follow. I will just go for whatever slipstream we can and hope that uh, they will. Oh, did I go too late under brakes? No, we all did. <laughs> well, yeah, yes, I did go too late under brakes, but we all did. So I guess it's fine. Uh, we snuck our way past a brazen, and we are up in two. A glorious second position. Uh, run up the hill time now. Uh, see, the other reason I use this layout is I much prefer this corner. I, I really like this corner. I don't like the national circuit that doesn't use that part of the track. To me, that's the most fun corner on the circuit, that sort of fast-sweeping chicane part. 
I appreciate, I, I, in fact, I know I am one of the few that really likes this circuit, but, you know, <laughs> I had control of the lobby. <laughs> That's why I shouldn't be put in charge. I am not a dictator, I promise. Although I feel like anybody who says they're not a dictator probably is. Shush. Uh, in fact, we all know Fail Race is not a democracy at all. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, there is that. Uh, oh, I'm out of shape. I'm really out of shape into the chicane. Ninetales has just been slowed down the whole way through that section. Now the Nissan is going to oversteer a little bit, but that's okay. Right, we come out of the final corner. Ninetales is right on our tail. Uh, oh, I did turn off penalties. Sorry, Liam. Uh, oh, we're going to struggle to stop, and Ninetales is going to cut underneath us. I was using the 150 meter board, but that is too late. The well, Nitos cut underneath us, but we'll be on the wrong side for this part of the circuit. So we will get that place back from Nitos. The more we fight, the better chance Brazen has of rejoining us. We're up to car level two, that's nice. Are we going to slide? Maybe a little bit. Uh, so I, I like grippy cars through this bit here, where you're flat out through that high speed chicane. Uh, really? That's, I didn't even, yeah, that, that's why, that's why I don't have the penalties turned on, because I didn't even have, I had two wheels on the circuit the whole time there, I think, pretty sure I had two wheels on the circuit, uh, and I certainly didn't gain one and a half seconds for going off lightly like that, um, I swear I had turned penalties off, but apparently not, uh, whoa. Nine Tails can sit behind having a look. It's not quite going to be any room as of yet. And on to the start finish straight we go. Brazen has caught. I mean, me and Nine Tails fought one another a fair bit that lap, which will have helped the old Brazen. Uh, where is Nine Tails going to go? We are going a bit earlier on the brakes down here. Nine Tails can look to the outside and will not be successful, might actually lose out to Brazen. The thing is, it doesn't even matter if I fend off these two cars, because the penalty is going to drop me back to, like, fourth or fifth. No, 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 not quite, but we will see how it goes. Uh, all is fine. I thought Ninetales was going off the circuit there. They did not. Uh, right, don't... So don't do anything even silly through there. Uh, we will get across to defend, but I don't... Oh, we're not making that corner. Ninetales will just cut underneath. Ah. Yeah, I got a little bit too brave. Un we got too brave under braking on a funky line. It would have been fine if we were on a normal racing line, but under def like defensive line was all sorts of wrong. Uh, dog, I can just hear you causing chaos in the background. Are you batting at your bed again? Uh, maybe. We will bounce over the curb. We're going to be side by side with Brazen going into this chicane. Tried to shove my nose there. <laughs> Didn't. Worth half a shout, maybe. I think that's one. The door is always. We weren't really able to stay far enough alongside. The door was always going to close at some point in that one. Now we've got Impega and Liam behind us. Uh, where do we break? About here, maybe? Yeah, because we're not really up. Liam's gone very, very wide. Peg is going to try and get up the inside, but Peg is going to struggle with the exit of this corner. Third gear I like on the exit there. I can just boot it, and we have traction. Those two are fighting each other and have cost each other a huge amount of time, but I just can't do anything with all my momentum there. I could not use to save my life. Ninetales is going to go wide again on that section, and that is going to promote me up into a second place. Do we try and send it on Brazen? No, we'll just show the nose a little bit. Make Brazen think think that we're going for it. We're good through the sort of hairpin bit. All of us have got a bunch of penalties up here. Uh, they will go off for the next race. Do not worry. Uh, now, try and get through this next corner. It pegs a little further back than, uh, than before, which gives me a little bit of security going through this section. Brazen's really defending into the chicane. We have got that excellent run out of that 
that chicane, but we're we're kind of pinned. Neither of us could really get a good run. Impega's gone wide. I say we were in danger from Impega, but Impega fell off the circuit anyway, so it didn't really matter. We are not going to be close enough to have a look at getting past Brazen down here necessarily. Slightly different lines from both of us, which I'm okay with. Two more laps to go around this. I mean, this has been a properly good race with the Nissans. Uh, <laughs> Nine Tails has just slipped back a little bit with their mistake, and Impega with that off at the final corner. How fast dare you be up this section? And I think fourth is really what you need through here. I'm wary about going too aggressive through that corner because we've seen what happens. Uh, oh, little lock up from me down there. Liam is getting close. I think Liam might be the fastest of all of us here. We've got real pace at this circuit. But uh, Liam has also got some serious speed. Brazen's a little wide mid-corner. But you will line up for a nice exit, so that's something there. Uh, what can we do through this final corner? That is a very, very good question. Uh, we are more aggressive on the car. I'm taking more risks on those curves than Brazen is. Uh, you know, we don't want to get any more of a penalty. But, uh, yeah, we are we are now nicely off the final corner. It comes down to three of us pretty much on the final lap. Ninetales and Impega have fallen back. Brazen goes all the way to the inside. We are back on a more normal line into turn one. We've got to be careful Liam doesn't sneak up the inside here. Uh, we've got the proximity arrows on, so I know roughly where they are. No, Not quite close enough for a Liam. We're taking a really wide turn in through here, through all of these corners, focusing primarily on getting a really strong exit, which we have done, but it's not strong enough to look for a way past a brazen at all. We are all in a line through this back chicane. I slide, brazen slides, Liam's tucked underneath. Liam's gonna go to the outside. We're trying to pin brazen on that inside line. I've gone too wide. Liam's gone underneath. I should have gone down to second for that drive off of the corner. Although Liam is now going to be carted wide. So <laughs> what happened to me is what's about to happen to Liam. Oh, through there. Really should have probably gone down to second for that bit. Uh, can we maintain speed? It's still side by side into the chicane. Oh, we are side by side. We're both sliding. Liam got it a little bit over the curb. Liam is always fighting back. Oh, Liam gives us a bump around the final corner. Brazen's going to take it. We are going to fend off. Yes, we get the second place. What a race. <laughs> what a battle. Gee, I think Liam was a little faster than me and Brazen. Not by much. Just a little faster. I think I was a little faster than Brazen as well, to be fair. Um, I couldn't find a way past. Um, gee, that was a great race. Ninetales, Impega, we're in the fight. Just a little mistake from Ninetales and a little mistake from Impega towards the end. Saw them dropped back. Um, bloody hell, that was good fun. <laughs> that was really good fun. Well done, Brazen. Well fought. Well fought indeed. Uh, the Yellow Brigade got a podium. Um, the Yellow Brigade absolutely got a podium. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at that. Look at that. Why am I on Banana Squad? I guess we are. We are Banana Squad now, whether I like it or not. Uh, <laughs> uh, God. That's the most I've concentrated on a Forza race for a while. <laughs> uh, damn it. I'm slightly gutted I couldn't find a way past. Um, we wouldn't have won anyway. The penalty would have screwed us, but... Um, there we go. Damn it. Great fun. We got a bunch of unlocks, though. That's something, which is cool. So, a bunch of unlocks. It'll be good going forward. Hmm. Where do we go next? Do I throw this to chat? Or any guy? Have we had any very kind donators asking for circuits? I don't think so. Um, we will... We will see. We will maybe throw it to chat. See what chat wants. Um, oh yes, if Brazen's around, it's the Lemon Squad. Okay, sure, sure, we can have it as it is, it is the Lemon Squad that, that we have that we have going on here. 
Um, oh, there are some cars. Uh, so there are definitely some cars with better braking. I don't know, the cars have gone all sorts of different routes. Uh, I'm going to load the track first before I go and adjust my car. Um, you and you are a slight disadvantage, but at least you get pole. Like that is that is something. You do at least get pole. Um, I would love to go to Alton Park. I love driving that circuit. However, uh, it's not on the game. It's not on the game. <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Mid Ohio, it looks like Mid Ohio or Laguna is currently the um, main requests. I do, I do love Mid Ohio. Uh, I can see why people people really enjoyed this circuit. I've come to like it immediately. I actually like Kailami too. Uh, we know what? Laguna is going to win on on this one. Let's go. Laguna. I'm not going to use the the, the the wacky layout. Um, because the, the the old circuit is really narrow and it's just going to cause chaos. So we're not going to go there. Uh, whether... Do I have to set it to random every time? I think I do. Every time it loads. Uh, I think. If I go cut... Okay, I think that's what was the problem. Okay, turn that off. Turn that there. That should hopefully work. And we are not comparing best laps. That should work. That should work. Uh, right. There we go. Let's go and load Laguna. Uh, M uh, MG, thank you very much for the super chat saying, Le Mans, two laps. Oh, God, I hate Le Mans. <laughs> but I guess we'll go Le Mans next. Oh, I hate Le Mans. <laughs> it's... Le Mans is one of those circuits that a lot of people like. No matter how much I've driven it, I cannot see and Le Mans. I just loathe it. I just, I just absolutely loathe Le Mans. Um, I think it's up there as one of my least favourite bloody circuits. Um, I just, I've just never liked it. Never liked it. Never enjoyed driving it. Never enjoyed racing on it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I'd like, I'd, no, like, don't get me wrong, I can absolutely understand. If you like the circuit, fair enough. No no judgment from me at all. But, Christ, do I personally hate it. <laughs> uh, do I? Do I go? Do I make the same mistake as I did last? I feel like this would be a car that would make the most of these. And we still have 100 left to stick some power in it feel like of the bits I've got available to me, this is the way to go. We're not going to get to level 20, sadly. But, uh... Because <laughs> otherwise it'd just be crap big turbos. But no, I'm, I'm going to go with that. I think we're going to find myself underpowered. Ah! It's po Well, the thing is... If we do this, it doesn't work. Next race, we can dump a bunch of power in it, or whatever power we can. Not, no one's no one's going to really be a high enough level to go crazy with the power, uh, necessarily, anyway, I don't think. But by the looks of it, we might have the highest PI. Oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Um, hmm. Okay, well, maybe we're at the back. I don't mind. I'm quite liking this car, actually. It's got that little bit of slip. It's got that little bit of slide. I'd rather it didn't, but I can certainly manage it. Um, I can figure out a way to manage it, so to speak. So Ewan and Stevie are going to be screwed. Because they disconnected, they didn't get to run in the first race. They're going to be stuck with pretty much like a step behind the rest of us. Uh, they, they're going to be stuck always a little bit behind the rest of us. I think people are having game crashes while trying to do the parts. Oh, Forza. <laughs> okay. Jesus, this fuel tank is not... 25% like, only does six laps. Not a big fuel tank. So 100%, does it really only do... That is a tiny-ass fuel tank. I mean, I know... Okay, 26 laps, I don't know how long. I guess Lagoon is a little bit of a longer track, but still. <laughs> That's, uh... Yeah. That's surprising. That, that does surprise me. But, you know, we will go leave a little bit of extra in the tank. If we go 30%. That'll get us to the end. It will It will work for us. So, if we've got Stevie back in. Yeah, okay. So, Stevie's in. That We are by far the highest PI. 
So no one else is really going for much. Everyone else is going for different upgrades. No one else has done what I've done. So I should have... So I have the lowest... I don't have great speed. I don't actually have great handling. My braking's better. Liam's got a lot of power. Ninetales has handling. I don't know how Ninetales has got three hands. I mean, we're not really talking about 0.1, but... Yeah, Ninetales has done something different with that. Not quite sure what. I wonder if people are maybe going and putting some ballast or something in their car to try and get them a higher spot on the grid. It's possible. <laughs> we will see. Uh, right, seven laps, Laguna. A wonderful track. We are basically going to be at the back of the grid. I don't mind this for excitement's sake. Oh, I think you can see the dog. The dog's got off the bed and is currently laid. Can I... No, oh, spun the wrong way. Can you see the dog? No, nope, can't move my chair far enough away. He's, he's found a weird place to sit, you know, as the dogs often... As they often do. Ugh. Right. Race time. I did... I meant to check if I turned the penalties off. I'm pretty sure I did. Hopefully it carried over. I'm a professional, I promise. Professional idiot, but, you know... How far up through the grid can I climb? This is the big question for us here. We had a wonderful race last time out. Will it continue? Will it? Uh, will we have another wonderful race? I don't care what position. Like it just so happened last time that wonderful race was over first place. I don't care if that wonderful race is over 16th. I guess like 14th. If you have a good race, a good race is fun whatever position in the tr on the track it is. Oh, there's a little bit. Shadow's doing a little bit of uh, sandcastle building. Oh, and Pega's put an outside wheel on the dirt. That's so dangerous here. Uh, oh, uh, oh, I can't see anything. It's really dusty. It's just a cloud of dust. Uh, there are some more cars going for adventures. He's trying to spot who is going for adventures. Where are they going to re-emerge on the circuit? What can I get away with? Where can I put my car? Oh, Liam struggled to stop there. Carted two cars on there outside wide. We've had quite a good start here, if I'm honest. Uh, I, I don't think we could have really asked for much more from the back of the grid. We managed to avoid the, sh the real shenanigans, work our way forward. Hyper's... I mean, Hyper we know is down on PI, I think. Not going to really be able to do much here. It's just going to be a take it carefully into the chicane. Hyper to the chicane in the corkscrew. Hyper got in trouble on the way in. Thank you very much. What is that arrow? Have I got a broken... Oh, it's gone away. I said, what is that proximity arrow tell? I think the proximity arrows are not working properly, but never mind. The blimp is back. It's followed us. It may have been at all circuits, to be honest. I've just not really been noticing it. It may have been at Catalonia. But Catalonia is too foggy and we were way too busy racing to notice if it was there. But never mind. We are out of the final corner. We are in ninth place. Solid, solid, really solid first lap. What can I do about me? He's trying to pass Ninetales. Never an easy prospect, this one. Round the outside at turn one. Well, I was going to do it, then Stevie was in the well. So Stevie's in, like, again, Stevie was one of the cars that disconnected, so is less XP, is less upgraded than mine and Ninetales' vehicle. Uh, he's still going to put up a fight. Chris is going to... Oh, that's bad. Uh, Chris got a little bit of a twitch. We got stuck alongside Stevie. Ninetales has got escorted wide. We got... I think we were going wide on our own anyway. Certainly certainly didn't have much wiggle room there. We are trying to get to the inside of Stevie. Gliska may get both of us. Stevie's out wide. Do we have the power to run up the hill and keep ahead of Gliska? We do. We have enough speed to put the nose alongside Chris, but not enough to really get a pass done. Ewan's the other one in the car that's barely had any upgrades in it. Uh, so, yeah, Ewan is also going to be fighting a little bit weakened here uh, as we head up towards the corkscrew now. Oh, well, Gliska got screwed. Did not see what was going on. Busy with my own fight. Gliska very unlucky there. Oh, no. I need to clear this traffic. I've got to get past Chris. Got to do it quickly as well. Uh, now, Chris will fight back. I'm hoping we're going to be on the inside, though, for the final corner so that we can hopefully do the job here. Some Morse code going on on the bumper. It's fine. We are through. Impeg has come with us. Liam is there as well. Funnily enough, it is... Uh, <laughs> we're, all, we're all marching our way forward. 
at the moment. It's now got a little bit quieter as we go, hopefully, chasing off after Ewan. That's very deep. But one thing that might save me here is, as we get on the power, we will A, get a slightly bit... We'll get a slightly faster exit, and we would have been on the inside for this corner anyway, as it was we just out-accelerated in Pega. Uh, Ewan is struggling a little bit through here. We're up to car level, which is nice. We are going to push. <laughs> we gave Ewan a real... It wasn't a, it wasn't a big bump, but it was definitely a hurry-up through there. And Pega is also getting clear of Ewan and does. Right, we're up to fifth. And Pega's up to sixth. Someone's in, someone's in the kitty litter. Very wide. Don't know who that was. May well have been assisted at that point. Did not see. Danger Man is the next car up the road. Longbow leads the way. Uh, I think it's Longbow and Ollie up at the front and possibly a brazen. I'm going to guess... I'm going to guess a brazen. Whoa. Get slowed down for the corkscrew. Uh, you can get away with attacking the curb a little bit more on the inside than I did there. Uh, we were perhaps a little bit late. It's three cars for the lead. It's that big trio of cars going on up at the front. Oh, that's understood. Not got that section right at all, and Pega will close a little bit. I mean, if the top three really fight each other, and me and Impega don't fight each other too much. Could we catch them by the end of the race? Maybe. I mean, it's quite a long race. There's a chance Ewan's about to lose a spot to, I suspect, Liam. Yeah, Impega's got, got, I think, real speed with these cars here. Probably a little bit more than I do. Ooh. Again, super wide through here. I don't hate that line because we, get, we still get a good exit. Uh, just don't put a wheel on. The one thing we cannot afford to do here is put a wheel on the dirt, as Danger Man is about to do. You lose so much time at this circuit with that little, just that little brush on the dirt. Danger Man's actually out of position all the way through here. Can we make a move? We're on the wrong side. Pega may have put a wheel on the dirt somewhere, because Pega has dropped back. Uh, no, cannot get around the outside. Can we get the run up the hill here? Yes, but it's not re this corner up here. You can overtake on it, but you really need to be fully alongside. That would have been a real half-assed overtake, overtake attempt had I kept my car in that bit. Slow it down for the corkscrew. Be aggressive on the inside. Try and straight line it as much as possible uh, while keeping the car on the circuit, which is what we did. Uh, Danger Man is again just a little bit wide of the apex. But it's really difficult to pass into this. Again, this is another corner. You can do it, but you've got to be properly alongside, which we were not. I think my car is one of the fastest cars on the circuit, but from 16th, you're always going to struggle. We may have done a little bump on the rear of the Man of Danger's car. Pega is still there. <laughs> There's still that pressure from behind. We've got good drive down the start field. I think we've got more straight line speed than in Pega. Danger Man did not feel the need to go defensive into turn one, which surprises me. Uh, I could have, I should have dove to the inside. If I'd known how early Danger Man was going to break, I would have done. That caught me out a smidge. Uh, to be fair to Danger Man, uh, they have played like three races before this stream started. So, <laughs> yeah, they are the least experienced of all of us at this game. We are now to the inside. There there was a Danger Man's, just a Danger Man's left width on the outside there. That was a little bit close to being uh, rude. Uh, but we are now through. We're a little wide on the exit. Don't do that. Don't do that, because Danger Man's going to fight back. He's going to do... Yeah, Danger Man realised, basically what I realised last lap around, is that uh, well, you can't really pass to the inside there. Unfortunately, we got fired a little bit wide. It's now to the outside at the corkscrew for a danger man we are trying to defend and I think we will all this has let the top three get away our battle over four has allowed Brazen, Ollie and Longbow to escape away a smidge we are now clear which is what we wanted I think it's going to be kind of a two laps two lap dash between me and Impega I'm going to guess it might have been Liam that we saw go for a big adventure because uh, Liam was the other car that was with us and was going quick. Oh, we've all got a bit wide out there. <laughs> Danger Man finding the uh, gravel. 
on that outside. We've got three laps of fuel remaining, which is fine for a two-lap race. It is going to end, I think, a little bit of a hot lapping session now with the ever-present danger of Impega. Uh, let's try and get to one. Who has come to join? Is that Gliska? Might be Gliska that has joined that little group behind. I mean, I'm happy with my build. As far as the building part of this challenge goes, my escort completely got away from me. The Nissan... I can't really complain too much. I'd be interested to see lap times. I know a lot of my lap times... A lot of my lap times were in traffic. This one here will be out of traffic. So it'll be interesting to see how we match up to Brazen. But the, part of this challenge with having a reverse PI grid, part of the challenge now is if you go too much in terms of PI, you have so much work to do. It's very difficult getting past 15 cars to win a race. Because you, you're always going to lose a heap of time at the start just dealing with. And we dealt with it really as well as could possibly be expected. Uh, Glisk has actually got up a place past Impega by the looks of it. They're still fighting. Oh, that's not a great line through there. Uh, they can go side by side through that section if they want. All of that helps me sort of consolidate a fourth position. Uh, cars ahead are escaping away a little bit. Don't think I've don't think I've really driven my best. Well, once we've got into clean air, I've absolutely not made the most of it. <laughs> I have really struggled to make the most of a better a better chasing cars apparently uh, than I am when I'm in the clean air. I've made silly mistakes, missed apexes here and there. They're still side by side. That's now almost half a lap. They have been spending. It helps me. It helps me keep them at bay. Never going to complain about oppositions fighting. Uh, Brazen is flying up the front. <laughs> Jeez, Brazen has got some pace. I think that wide line at turn one actually working a little bit quicker than what we've been doing here. Chris has disconnected, uh, or may have had to go, don't know. Um, less helpful. I mean, the servers aren't as unreliable as they could be. They're definitely not definitely far from perfect. Well, some of them are servers, but some of them are game crashes. Uh, <laughs> don't ask. Don't ask. We don't know either. Uh, now, into the corkscrew. That was not a line through there either. God damn it. Uh, so now I've got myself into a spot where I'm on my own. I'm actually really not making the most of uh, the track. <laughs> With too many little errors. Too many little mistakes. However, as we round the final corner, from 16th to 4th, I would have taken it if you'd offered me it at the start. We will cross the line. It got scruffy at the end when it shouldn't have done, to be perfectly honest. 39-2. Uh, <laughs> we weren't keeping up with Brazen. We weren't too far off Longbow and Ollie. I feel like a 39-0 or a 38-8 would be more than capable. I would be more than capable if I got that one right, but I'm not matching. I mean, my car, I'm sure, could do brazen's lap time i can't <laughs> at the end of the day uh yeah i could not ollie did amazingly well with a car that is miles under pi'd compared to the rest of us so <laughs> fair play to ollie that was a great job getting that onto the podium and that's the advantage of low pi start at front and sort of stay away from uh I say from, from the trouble, but Brazen racks up another victory. <laughs> oh, it's a familiar sight. Too familiar so far. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We got a few more levels. We got a few more levels to dump into the car. Um, in this next track, we are going to Le Mans. I hate it. I hate it. It's not going to go well for me. But we will go there. We will go there because it was requested. Uh, where is... Uh, such a terrible track. <laughs> uh, right. Two laps. We will go random weather. 
think everything else should be fine. Don't know what on earth it is going to to throw up here. Um, okay, it is dry. It is dry. Um, e Egil? I don't know if I pronounced that one correctly. But uh, thank you very much for the donation. I say the outer layer of Laguna Seca in Motorsport is the older and better layout. Uh, turn one alone is worth using that layout if I may request it. You can. We won't go to. Uh, we won't go to it just yet because we just ran Laguna. Um, but we can go to it at some point. This evening. I will say that while the turn one is interesting, it is bloody dangerous. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah. Oh, is it raining? There spots of rain on the car? Don't know. Maybe just textures. Um, yeah, it's a cool layout. It's really good to see it in the game. Really glad to see it in the game because I've never seen that layout before. I didn't know there was a different layout for um, Laguna. Didn't know there was like an old layout for Laguna. But yeah, really, really cool. Um, we can potentially potentially go there a little bit later on this evening. Uh, more cowbell. Thank you very much for the donation. Saying it's Bathurst Saturday, so there is two more practice sessions and the top ten shootout. Uh, go the Iron Maiden. Uh, it is Bathurst weekend. I am looking forward to to watching. Um, I God knows what we're going. I, I, the thing I love about Bathurst, actually, I do need to catch up because I've watched San. What was the last one? The first of the endurance races. I didn't watch that one yet. I haven't caught up on my V8 supercar. It's terrible. But always look forward to Bathurst. Um, I'm not a big endurance racing fan, particularly, uh, but I do like the. V8 Supercars Endurance. Well, I like the series, so I just kind of watch the Endurance. Uh, wow, we've got 300 points. It's going to have to be that, isn't it? I guess I could stick like that on it. Makes it a bit heavier, but it does give us a chunk more power. Yeah, I think it's worth it at the mon. Mm, that'll do. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it this weekend. And I presume that's for the Cult of 21. I can't actually see. I had to rejig the donation bar because it doesn't... Across the top of the screen, it... Actually, could I maybe get it to fit? I might be able to get it to fit somewhere slightly better. Um, might be able to get it somewhere slightly more visible. It's going to have to be a little bit jank. Just have a little bit of adjust. I think we can kind of have it up there. Cause I, can't, I, don't wanna, I can't cover the left-hand side of the top left of the screen because that's where the bloody... No, I think that'll cover up the car XP, which we... I don't know whether people want to see. Uh, it's, it's not great. Cult of 69 is, is leading it. Uh, I, I only have my... Um, oh, my game's buggered. God's sake, this is so annoying. Uh, so, that's the other thing. One of the many things that need to be fixed. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, Mum on you. I don't know if I pronounced that one correctly. Gaming, thank you very much for the uh, super chat. Uh, saying good video slash stream as usual. Uh, can you race at Spa uh, next if possible? We can. Uh, we can race at Spa. That is no problem at all. Uh, well, whoever's ended up being host of that lobby will will be able to set it to Spa. I because it won't have saved those changes. So I have got to go and find the Nissan. I'll go and reapply it, and while I'm here, I'll paint the car orange. So, you know, we might as well... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Why are the tyre pressures so bloody high? Christ. Uh, <laughs> I just noticed that. Confirm them. That's ridiculously high tyre pressures. I don't know really what I normally what it would normally be. I don't know, 32's not too bad. I do tend... To, I used to run them quite low. In Forza games. I don't know whether that works on this one, but I feel like 38 is too... 38 is higher than my road... Uh, maybe the RS6 might sit at that for road use. It reckons it's going to do 206 miles an hour. That's pretty good. Uh, I will take that. I will take that if if, if it is genuine. Um, it is good for Le Mans, I guess. Right, Nissan Z. Let's go and paint the car. We are going to get out of the lemon squad. We don't want to be part of that. We have got the orange. The orange is the best way to go. Admittedly, the gold wheels, probably not. <laughs> I guess we could change the wheels. Don't you dare bloody break now. 
Uh, not 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 going to waste too much of your time. Uh, let's go and join that session. Like the the actual races, the actual races where we have been, you know, competing, been great fun. <laughs> Shame the the rest of the game is balked. Um, wait until you see the. Well, I say wait. You're not going to see any multiplayer replays for a while because the replays don't work. You can save them, but nothing. The cars don't move on the grid, so. <laughs> So we can't actually do anything with it. We filmed some stuff yesterday. One video's one video's fine because I backup recorded it all live. One video really could do with replay cameras for it to work. So I'm hoping it gets fixed quite soon. Oh, am I the only A-class car here? Oh, <laughs> well, some others are getting connected. Uh, I guess we've lost a Brazen. Brazen might be A-class. Stevie's P-class. We lost it. Um, I am a, I'm up to an A-class car here. This is interesting. Um, yeah, don't ask. I don't. I don't know how you break replays. I, like, so if you load, if you load a replay, uh, for, you save from a multiplayer race. You, the cars just sit on the grid and don't move. If you rewind time, the cars start floating around and and you, like no gravity, they fly up in the air, they smash to the ground, but they still don't move off the grid spots. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how it's broken. It's, it's, it is, it just is. It's weird. I don't understand it, but you know. <laughs> uh, and again, as I've said many times, it's such a shame. That race at Catalonia, fantastic. The way these cars, the physics are, I say brilliant. The physics are really, really good on here. It's really good fun to drive on here. It's just, 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 uh, it's frustrating is what it is <laughs> for want of a better word uh, but there we have it uh, Luke thank you very much for the donation I say I've been watching for about four years now oh we're about to go racing I uh, just want to say thank you uh, to you and the filming crew for all of the entertainment oh, well, thank you very much indeed I'm glad you've been enjoying the content for as long as uh, as long as you have um, I hope you all enjoying it for many so many more years to come uh, yeah always always glad to hear people uh, uh, you know who've been watching for for many many years and all that um, we are about to go racing I'm, I'm afraid after over all of those years I'm honestly not sure this is the race you want to watch I hate Le Mans. I can't stress this enough how much how much I hate Le Mans uh, I really do not like this circuit and I will. Even if my car is the best suited to this, I am just not going to be any good at this. It looks like it might be drizzling ever so slightly. But my car is the highest PI here, so we start at the back. In theory, I should be the fastest down the straights. That is a big spin for Blakey. I'm going to guess may have got some assistance in that. We will get past Gliska on the way through. We will get out the other side. Uh, so, long straight might be where my car comes good if my upgrades have been working on this one I'm so I haven't touched the brakes I'm gonna guess most have that might be my undoing a little bit here uh, no one's gonna have tire compounds unlocked but well, this is gonna get underneath but no one's gonna have really anywhere to go there is a car off the circuit who is that is that Ewan maybe oh I'm on the curb sorry Ewan I got on the curb and it unsettled me and wanted to fire me left that was sketchy as anything. Uh, right, let's get in the slipstream. Do we have good straight line speed compared to the other cars around us? Doesn't really look like it. It doesn't look like we're really any better than... Uh, how I've ended up with a load more PI, I don't know. I think the others, as I said, may be deliberately trying not to increase their PI, which is probably a good way to go. Uh, don't know where to break. Here seems like as good a place as any. Oh. Well, I mean, Aaron was going wide on their own anyway. I can't say I, don't say, I would say I pushed them off. Uh, they were already going wide. We were on the very, very limit of what we could do. Impegger <laughs> uh, is leading the way. That is perhaps not a big surprise. Stevie, we, well, we know Stevie and Ewan are like a car upgrade behind, so they are always going to be, in theory, much slower than, than us. So this thing like, has a full tank in it, which I didn't need to put. Oh, crap. Oh, no, we might still get stopped. 
Wow, we dove. I actually missed where I was supposed to be braking a little bit there. But it turns out I was right. Uh, I actually got the braking spot on. I thought we were about to plough through the field. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. I was fully prepared to bail on that corner and chuck my car into a wall to try and avoid everybody. But uh, as it turned out, we got it right. I can't believe we did get it right. I don't know where I need to break down here. There was too early. And... Amazing. I don't know if Danger Man can't see us, because uh, that literally had no effect on their car. <laughs> I, will, I will admit, I will admit we were a little bit cheeky, but yeah, we just got dumped. I think Danger Man may not have seen my car. I don't think that could have... I don't think that physically could have turned us that quickly. Um, if the... So, the, the glitch of not being able to see other cars that you are racing, that is here. It's not as bad as it was in Horizon, but it very much does still exist. And I wonder if Danger Man couldn't see us. Uh, because that was... The, re the way you can tell if someone can't see you, generally speaking, is if, they, if, if their hit on you doesn't really affect them, and that did not look like it affected them at all. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, well, I, I messed up the next corner, because I don't know this track in the slightest. I don't know this track, I don't want to know this track, I don't like this track. Uh, it is... Oy. That is it's just... I say it's just the truth. It's, it's just my opinion of it. Um, like the the Nordschleife took me a long time to, I say, vaguely learn. Um, but I always liked the challenge of the Norschleife, even if I didn't know the circuit very well. This, I just don't even like the, I don't even like the challenge of. But, you know, I, I say I could complain. I could tell you how much I dislike Le Mans. <laughs> over and over again. Doesn't, doesn't really change much. Uh, can we get part? I mean, we are a significantly faster car than you and in theory. Oh, we are going to understeer a little bit through there. Uh, can we be... Not going to be flat through here, are we? No. Nope. <laughs> We're going to wander a bit wide on the exit. That's fine. We'll get away with it. Mostly. <laughs> right. We need some more chaos. More chaos to befall everybody. I'm a little bit wary. I think the overtaking Danger Man is going to be a bit dangerous. If they, if they genuinely can't see us. They... <laughs> well, we've slightly cheated. Considering what happens to me, I feel like... Stuff it. <laughs> I feel like, honestly, I won't overtake somebody like that. Of course not. But uh, considering how this race has gone... That's too late. Oh, come on. Uh, you and sliding around as well. Ollie has got the lead of the race for the moment. And they are somewhere miles up in the distance. Ewan is cutting the grass slightly down there. Oh, I will stray a little bit too far off the circuit. Uh, let's go and weave our way through this bit. We'll bounce over some curbs. Probably, possibly do with some better suspension. Nope. See, what I should be doing, if I was being clever, what I would do is make try and get perfect sectors so I hope to get more car XP. That would probably be a sensible way to go. I mean, it, we're not playing it sensibly particularly. We have got the straight line speed to breeze past Ewan here. That was always likely to be the case. Oh, someone's missed the corner. The 200 meter boards is not where you break. Ewan has literally followed me off the track there. <laughs> Stevie found that you cannot take the escape road, I'm going to guess. <laughs> okay, 200 meter boards for that chicane didn't work. It's sort of worth a try. Uh, yeah. It's, it's sort of, that's sort of where I broke. Do we have to start breaking these before we even see the boards? I guess we do. Whoa. That, yeah, that board there is horrible. It's literally hidden in the tree. I guess in like LMP cars and GT cars, you're probably breaking later. So it might not matter. You barely see it when you're going to slow down there. But I guess in, in these kind of cars, 
you are having to brake earlier. And I don't have upgraded brakes. Maybe the uh, oh god, maybe the maybe the difference. I'm out wide on there. Never mind. All is good. All is fine. We will survive that. Blakey is the car in front. Liam has got to the lead of the race. Uh, uh, so for the gear shift, they have changed how it works. Um, I am not actually running with manual clutch at the moment. I'm, sure. I'm pressing clutch like I normally would, just out of instinct. But I'm sure normal manual. To, to run manual clutch, you've got to hold down the clutch a lot longer until you've upgraded the gearbox and stuff. Uh, so you do have to shift differently now. You can't do the old power shifting of like tap the clutch and tap up shift, spam it really quickly through the gearbox. You do genuinely have to like hold down the the clutch for a lot longer. Uh, it takes a bit of getting used to, and for the sake of consistency, especially in commentating like this, streaming and all of that, uh, I am just going for manual at the moment. The, so the big advantages of running manual and clutch, they, they lessened in, in more recent games, but uh, yeah, it is not as advantageous, there's not a huge advantage to manual and clutch. If you put better gearboxes in, you can spam through it, but then you don't even need the clutch. So. Yeah, and they have changed, they have absolutely changed the way the gearboxes uh, work and the clutch works and all of that. Now, I'm in a predic predicament. Whoa, I'm in a bigger predicament now to put a wheel on the grass. Jeez. I'm in a predicament if I can somehow manage to find a way past Danger Man, or get near to Danger Man to look for a way past, unless Danger Man's having a big off, which they are, although I was also having an off. Uh, they might not be able to see me, so... Oh, Danger Man is very sideways. We may get spun. Whoa! Danger Man's wandering. <laughs> Danger Man is having their own accident. Well, you can. Yeah, I don't really think I deserve a warning on that one. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think there was much I could have done. I didn't even know which way that car was going to spin at that point. So yeah, there's really very little that I could do uh, through that section. Unfortunate for Danger Man, absolutely. We will cross the line. And we will take a finish. But I always knew we weren't going to do great there. Ollie wins. Liam is second. Looks like a fun race up at the front. Uh, massive gap back to Gliska in third ahead of Shadow. And Pekka slipped to fifth uh, in that one. Yeah. <laughs> ah, well. Could have been worse, pretty much, is, is what I can say on that one. Right, while I was... Oh, that's not the button I wanted to press. Uh, right, while we were racing Super Chats. Lewis Taylor, thank you very much for the donation. I say, lack of open air point annoyed me the most initially. Yeah, we don't have the... We don't have, like, the, the free... I say almost a free roam uh, area. Um, which is a little bit of a shame. I mean, that's, that's something that could be added later. Uh, we, we don't have any of the fun game modes either that would, that would utilise that sort of area. Uh, oh, to the host, I think it is Ollie. If we can go to Spa next, as uh, uh, Mum Mumongu Mum Mumongu, I don't know if I'm, I really am probably not correct pronouncing that correctly. But uh, they requested we go to Spa for uh, four laps. Might be a bit of a long race. Eh, stuff like that. Let's go to Spa for four laps. Um, but yeah, that, I mean that that could come back later, some form. Although we don't have this game is more focusing on the serious motorsport aspects, so it's perhaps unlikely because uh, it's unlikely to have like the infected and tagged game modes, which is a little bit of a shame. Because at the end of the day, well, yeah, sure, the game wants to try and be more about racing, racing. That's fine. Why not have alternate game modes? This game mode that we're playing now would work amazing as its own separate entity. Uh, I would tweak it. You could tweak it and balance it and make it way more interesting. Um, to make this work as just a special game mode, uh, I think that could be really fun. It's not never going to happen, but it, this would be a fun separate game mode, like as a small distraction. Uh, there you have it. Uh, Cody Skies, thank you very much for well, two super chairs actually. Um, 
uh, uh, came in. Uh, so how about the uh, Indie Road Course next? Uh, maybe you'll hate it less. I don't mind Indie Road Course, actually. Don't mind that track at all. Uh, also, long time watcher, first time message. Oh, well, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> I'm sick, so not at work. Good show from you all. Ah, well, I hope you feel better soon. Uh, I hope you are feeling feeling better soon. Uh, I guess the one upside is you get to catch some live fail race nonsense right here. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I like the Indie Road Course, actually. Um, I do not mind that one at all, so we can definitely go and check that out at uh, at some point. Yeah, Danger Man. I didn't think Danger Man could see me. Um, <laughs> it's, it, it looked very much like one of those. Yeah. Uh, Forza. Never changes. Uh, right, fuel system. We can get that. I mean... Get upgraded suspension. That'd be one way to go. I feel like maybe brakes is going to be useful here. No one's going to get compound tyres. Oh, do you try and find a way to get a race gearbox in the car? Because then you would get a sequential. I might try. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm getting rid of the brakes. And I'm going to lose a tier of air filter. So this should now change like a sequential box. Transmission eats up a lot of PI, but it should make my gear shifts a lot quicker. I don't know. <laughs> it's one of these, like, I'm saying it. It's a theory. We have very high PI. We're going to be the back of the grid, basically. Uh, we seem to have started at... Uh, way through this. So our braking is slightly worse. We've, we've traded off braking for hopefully gearbox. Although braking on Liam's is terrible. Well, it's not terrible. We're only talking about ignore that. That's just loading in because the game crashes repeatedly. Um, we, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. I feel like this gearbox is maybe going to be the way. I feel like I'm not the only one. Um, I feel like I'm not the only one that's going to go on for a gearbox by now. Uh, I'm surprised I've got so much PI. I can't imagine I've got more car levels than anyone else. We've had we've been decent. The first two races were decent enough for us, but I can't see why we would be better off than than anybody else. We can dump out some fuel, can't we? Uh, we only need five laps worth of fuel. Forty-one percent. Yeah, that's fine. Um, oh, I did miss your donation, Drake. Thank you very much for the donation. They're saying a haiku to Forza Motorsport. Enjoy. Uh, Stevie rolled it bad. Alex mad, if not good on Ford. Brazen, happy win. I mean, that about sums it up. Uh, yeah, if you are just tuning in, I welcome you. I welcome you to a stream. We are having some fun here with Forza. Um, but Stevie has had the first roll. I'm slightly disappointed, honestly. Uh, slightly disappointed that Stevie has had the first roll of Forza Motorsport. It was a big roll as well. It wasn't even a, <laughs> it wasn't a tame roll by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, P.S. Cult of 69. Guess uh, who snuck uh, in uh, to get back uh, prominence as a true cult. Also, Cowbell, uh, where's the friendly good morning I get from you? <laughs> the cult of, I presume, 1P is, uh, is now back. Uh, Harley Phonic, thank you very much indeed. For the super chat. I uh, say, so Alex, I've watched you extensively for many years. I owe you uh, more, but uh, spent all my money on a sim rig. So <laughs> have a pint on me. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you indeed. Um, say, so good luck with your facts. You can see my sim rig. It, it lies in a state of I haven't used it. Can you see my sim rig if I spin my chair? Hold on. No, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Which way do I need to go to get out this way? Hold on. Kind of. See the sim rig in the corner. Uh, I haven't used it in bloody ages. Uh, oh, I, I keep wanting to get back into iRacing. I want. I really want to get back into Automobile Blister 2 because their career mode looks really interesting. I've not got around to playing it. I just don't have time. <laughs> I just don't have time for everything. Um, but, uh, yeah, at some point I will hopefully get around to getting back into a little bit more sim racing. Um, and, and, and all of that. Um... But yeah, good luck. I say good luck. I hope you enjoy your. I hope you enjoy your your sim racing. Uh, I will at some point get back into i racing. Hopefully, hopefully when I've all moved house and got all set up there, that's the plan. House stuff is moving along. I've got more paperwork, contracts, and all of that fun stuff um, to be going through. So it's not too far. 
I'm going to say this now, and I'm probably going to jinx it, but Before Christmas should absolutely be in there. Um, it's, taken a, it's been a little bit of a faff. As anyone who has bought a house, I say in recent memory, but anyone who has who's, who's bought a house knows the faff you go through. I have been going through it. <laughs> I have been going through it. Um, but yeah, hopefully not too far away. And with any luck, when I get there, might be able to set up Simric better, might be able to rejig office and all of that good stuff. Maybe. Uh, I don't know if we're waiting for anyone. I don't know who's crashed out or disconnected or what mess we have going on. I know I'm starting on the back of the grid, as that is it. We're off! I'm not very good at Spa. I don't, I, I don't mind the track. I'm just not very good at it, so I'm not expecting great things. Although my car is supposedly the fastest car here, so who knows. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Jaden, thank you very much for the super chat. There wasn't a message, but thank you. It is always appreciated. Anything is always immensely appreciated. Um, we are going to go racing. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Hopefully I don't crash. Perhaps a bigger thing. <laughs> uh, who knows? Who knows? Is the dog... No, uh, dog's not really in frame. Dog's kind of asleep in a weird place. Uh, <laughs> right, so we are, of course... At the back of the grid uh, gearbox. Oh god, the gearbox is so much nicer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Th anybody who hasn't got a gearbox is going to be at quite a disadvantage, I would imagine. Uh, we are around turn one quite nicely. Nine tails lost out, got a little bit stuck out wide. Uh, Roy, thank you very much for the super chat. Sorry, I'll read them in a minute. I can't read them in the middle of a race. It's far too much to look at and concentrate on here. Uh, we are all going to have to check up through Eau Rouge and over Radion, and my car is bottoming out through there. Uh, oh, I couldn't even see where the track, I didn't know where the track limit was, because uh, of the sea of cars in front of me. Uh, we have got good speed, we've got a little bit caught up on Aaron's car down there. We've got good speed over the top, here comes Nine Tails, Nine Tails isn't going to want to make it three wide down here. We're all on the brakes, don't know where we need to break down here. Everyone's done a quite a good job. Aaron's going to run in around the outside. There is a spinner in the middle of the pack. That is Blakey. That is unfortunate for Blakey, but uh, they, they got it straightened up quite well. We've got a good run down the inside of Stevie. That should be another position for us. Uh, we are going to try and not understeer too far wide. We don't clock the back of Shadow. We will play get the car through the next corner. We are clear of Stevie. That's kind of a bit that mattered. I know our car is a bit faster than Stevie. It should be technically. But uh, I wanted to be able to get clear of Stevie so I could turn in where I wanted to. Although I've then beams it up through here. Oh, where are we going? Uh, a little bit wide. We will survive. Nine Tails is also on the march. Again, we've gone from the back of the grid up into an eighth place. Which I can't complain about. Much. <laughs> I say with a nervous laugh as we almost beans it up completely there. Uh, oh, there, someone has got spat out wide. That's Ewan in a little bit of trouble. Uh, I'm going to sneak through oh, on a tight line. We're going to lose that position, I should think. The one plus point we might get is, oh, Ewan's also made a mistake. Yeah, that, re that tight line was not the line to be on. You just can't carry any speed. Shadow's car looked a bit oversteery through there. Don't know how much I need to break through here. About that much. That's no, not too bad. There's definitely more speed in the car. Shadow goes defensive. Well, I thought Shadow was going defensive. But we had to bail. You know what? I will rejoin. I will not overtake. I'll lift on the throttle. Uh, I thought... I thought Shadow was going defensive, and then they just kind of crept back onto the racing. Like, we got a lot of straight line speed in this car. Um, and it slightly panicked me. And putting a wheel on the grass really does not aid with your stopping down there. Oh, sliding, sliding, sliding. Go. Fire the Nissan. Nine Tails has got, oh no, I don't know what's got blinky headlights. Oh god, we're going to go side by side through our rouge here. We've got the momentum. I think Shadow's going to have to lift and fall into line, and they do. Uh, we will bobble, we bottom out something horrible over Radion that really doesn't like that section. <laughs> that is a hold your breath sort of a moment there. It gets all sorts of crazy. Um, 
Right, Gliska and Danger Man are up ahead. I'm happy to maybe go a little bit earlier on the brakes. We know the cars behind are maybe a little bit too far back to be trying anything. We can... Oh, no, 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 no. Upset the rear. Oh, I'd love a little bit more rear end grip. I always do, though. Again, regular viewers will know my hatred. Well, not hatred, but... I, I, I'm much faster and much better with planted cars. If the back end is moving around, I'm not as good with the vehicle. Shadow has got up the inside as I was late on the brakes. We've just got the acceleration, though, to fight back. We've somehow got a lot of PI in our car here. And, yeah, we have got this monster of an acceleration machine. We can just run away from everything. We do struggle under brakes. But it do the, the, the amount of acceleration I have is wonderful. That's not too bad through there, actually. I will take that. I've got to probably brake a little bit earlier than most of the cars around me, just to make sure we get it through the corner. So, Mpega leads, I think, from Ollie. Not completely sure through this. Oh. Hello. <laughs> it's fine. Little bump. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, we will head through these next couple of corners. Try and be neat coming out onto this next pseudo straight. Danger Man ran a bit wide. Shadow's coming under threat from Longbow, and Longbow may well find a way past. Depends on how fast Longbow's car is down these straights. Danger Man... He's coming. We are catching. We will slow down through here. That's more like it. Happy with that corner. Fantastic. Now let's not go too brave under brakes down here. Uh, <laughs> let's just get the car stopped nicely, which we do. Oh, well, Longbow was across the chicane on that one. I mean, I did that one a little bit last time. So, <laughs> like, Longbow didn't really gain an advantage. And on that line, uh, with the way Longbow did it, I presume they, they lifted as well off the throttle. Oh, lead has gone very wide at turn one. Gliska's inherited the lead from that one. Impega and Oli are side by side. It's three wide heading towards Eau Rouge. I've got immense speed down here, but we are not going to... We've got immense speed, but we're not going to be able to go get a clean pass like we did on Shadow. The car feels really bad through the bumps there. As we come over the top, Ollie's got the run on Gliska. Everyone's got the run on Gliska. We've got a huge slingshot here. We are carving our way uh, through the pack. We are side by side with Danger Man now. We are on the brakes down here, maybe a little cautiously from me. Uh, it'll be side by side through here. Danger Man will come out on top. I feel like I might have the car here to just be patient. To just be patient and not do anything crazy about throwing the vehicle to the inside. Uh, Ollie's out wide. Danger Man's going to be slow mid-corner, but has that inside line for the next one. Our acceleration is got. I don't know if Danger Man can see us. I presume this time can, because otherwise would have gone across to take a normal racing line. Uh, <laughs> we've again got a load of speed. Danger Man moves across to cover down here, so yeah, Danger Man definitely can see us. Uh, the thing is, I've got to be careful with is if I don't clear Danger Man, Impega may well pass us. I've gone that corner all manners of wrong. Impega's out wide. Uh, through there, we will be on the brakes. We're parking it a little bit in the middle of the road. Just make it difficult for Impega to get a nose underneath. Uh, park my car where I wanted to through there. So Danger Man's got some pace here, but a little mistake kind of dropped them back. Impega is still right behind us. Uh, now, if I can get out of this section nicely, we may have the straight line speed to cause the leaders some bother. Longbow is... is Longbow... No, it's Ollie, sorry, is sliding. I forget who's where. No one's got any colours on their cars. <laughs> it's just the way the game works. Now comes the power of the orange machine. Because somehow I've got more power than everybody. I've got more PI than everybody. Don't quite know how that works, but it has. This challenge is a bit strange. There's all a little bit wide. Well, they've got. <laughs> I stay mostly on the track. Those behind have got a lot wider than I did. Uh, right, we're just playing it easy into this final chicane. I know I kind of can a little bit here. My hope is we can get out of the last corner well. It's an absolute scramble behind us. Uh, <laughs> we may well be able to get Danger Man into turn one. No, they cover the inside, uh, which is to be expected here. 
Can I duck underneath for this exit? I'm hoping we can and just power. No, not well, yet. Yeah, there we go. There is the power of the orange machine. We got the cutback working. Danger Man does not have an answer to us as we will breeze past through a rouge and heading up towards the bumpiest corner in the world. Oh, through Raddy on we go. Well, there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of track limits occurring there. I was a bit squiffy. Everyone else was up against the well, Danger Man was about the same as me, I think, and everyone else was up against the Blue Tire Bundle down there. Gliska is defending like crazy from Ollie up ahead, and now the orange machine has turned up to see what it can do in this one. Can we get involved? Can we find a way through? As I said, technically speaking, we have got the most PI here. We have a lot of PI actually in our car compared to everybody else. We should, I mean, we have probably been the fastest car on the track. Uh, however, uh, we've been in an excellent fight through all of this. Oh, let's be neat, tidy, get on the power down this next hill. Where will we find a pass? If we're going to find a pass, it's going to be into that final, final sequence of corners. You're not going to pass down here, not on the way in. Maybe on the exit, if we get it right, we're all wide. Uh, I've not got that one quite settled nicely to get on the power soon enough. So that's frustrating. It's spread out a little bit more behind us. There was shaping up to be a whole bunch of cars. I wonder if something happened to Impega. Uh, neater in this section we go. It will be full concentration face going on on the camera. I have no doubt. It is maximum concentration at the moment from me. Ollie's gone very deep through here. The problem I'm going to face, what we face when passing Ewan, is well, is on such a tight line through there it's really difficult uh, danger man gave us a hurry up which did not help trying to get the car settled uh, now we can hopefully run away a little bit from the cars behind we'll go chasing after gliska oh on oh, lift and lift and tap the brakes everyone is everyone is neat through there everyone behind stays majority on the circuit uh, we are under brakes down here. We will stop for the chicane. Whoa. Danger Man's there looking. We are... Oh, God, we got a huge slide. Couldn't catch it. Couldn't correct it in time. Danger Man will get past. I think we will have the drive to hold off in Pega. Yeah, he just got twitchy on me. <laughs> don't know whether... Don't know whether I should have stuck it in a different gear coming out of there. Um... I, mean, I, don't think, I think we we, ha we certainly had the pace to go a lot faster lap time-wise. I don't think we ever really got a clean lap uh, <laughs> in that one. Um, I, it was a great race. Why am I, to, uh, Brazen, I think Brazen may have had to go, actually. I guess I wonder what happened to Brazen, but I think Brazen had to head off. So that's why, that's why other people are standing a chance at the moment. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was good fun. That was a good fun race at Spa. Uh, we just could not quite could not quite make the most of our performance around there, but it was it was an entertaining battle. Well done, Gliska. Well done, Danger Man. Well done, everyone. Uh, to be honest, in that one, uh, Ewan did not have a great time by the looks of it in, <laughs> in all of that. Uh, there we go. Um, uh, Paul, thank you very much for the uh, donation. Saying, okay, who hit the grenades? I need my toys in case the aliens <laughs> return. Apollo's got them. Apollo has the grenades. He is looking after them. He is being careful with them, I promise. Maybe not a good idea, but he does have them. Uh, that's from Xenonauts, for those that are wondering, of course. Uh, Andrew, thank you very much for the donation, saying brum brum. <laughs> of course, the important things in life. Uh, you make the... I'll just mute the game. Andrew can make the soundtrack for us. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. It's fine. That'll work, right? Uh, we also had a uh, super chat from uh, Roy. Thank you very much for the uh, for the for the super chat. Saying congrats on the house. <laughs> yes, I'm probably way late, but still. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, well, it's been in the it's been in the, the works for a while, but um, yeah, progress is finally being made and everything. So that is all good. Well, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it won't be too long. Hopefully it won't be too long. Right, we're gonna move on to a different car. We're going to move on to a different car, so you can get your suggestions in now. I am going to back out, so we're going to go back to my menu so everyone can paint their cars. It may not always load, but it's to give everybody a chance. 
for some variety. Uh, so far, we started off with an Escort, a Mark II Escort. We then went to the new Nissan Z. I much prefer the Nissan Z to the Escort. I'm not 100% sure how mine ended up way higher PI. Like We're like 40 PI higher than most of them. Uh, so, <laughs> a lot of them... I think they might have been playing... Maybe were playing the system, but I genuinely don't know how they were. Um, so, there we go. Uh, Ostino, thank you very much for the uh, super chat. Uh, saying, have you tried setting up multi-class races with AI, like TCR and GT3? Uh, if so, has the... Uh, oh, sorry, was the racing good? Thanks for the stream. Uh, been fun. I can't... I, I haven't. I can't say I can't say I've seen that done particularly. Uh, the AI are, uh, at the moment, a bit inconsistent. I doubt it would be amazing. Uh, personally, I've never been a fan of multi-class racing in games. I've, I've talked about this a little bit before, but uh, while I absolutely see the point of multi-class in real life, motorsport is expensive, classes aren't always huge, so people can share the track, events can happen. In a game, outside of the one time I've seen multi-class be genuinely really fun is on Wreckfest when we had harvesters racing against normal cars and the harvesters had their own race and the normal cars had to deal with this moving chicane of course that's a very silly race in this I feel like if you split the race up into half car, half the field you're basically just halving the amount of people you're racing which to me isn't that much fun why not have if you've got 20 people in a race why have 10 why, why have 10 racing one and 10 racing another when all 20 can be racing the same thing and you've got more people to race with personally that's what I, that's that's what i find more fun if you if like if you like class racing don't, don't get me wrong if you enjoy that awesome no no i say no judgment from me but yeah i i've never been a great fan of multi-class unless it is for silly reasons um uh, like the harvesters versus normal cars in wreckfest where it actually becomes like an obstacle course race and the harvesters can cause chaos, basically. Um, anyway, sorry. Yes, cars. Um, what have we got suggestion-wise going on here? Um, Lavore BTC is fun, but doesn't get very many upgrades, so it wouldn't be great variety-wise, as much as I absolutely adore this car um, on on this one. Uh, we're not going to go for an old car, because this will be horrible again. <laughs> but... Uh, uh, that is, uh, yeah, we, we don't, we don't want that. Um, what else have we got? M3, Civics, Renault 5 Turbo will be twitchy. Uh, I mean, I like, oh, Corvette Z06, could be fun. I'm tempted to go to a front-wheel drive and see how this, see how this fares with a front-wheel drive car, because that is quite a different, um, a different prospect for all of this. Um, Yeah, I would be I would be tempted. We'll see see if anything uh, strikes my uh, strikes my fancy. Oh, McGann R twenty six R. Yes, you know your cars. <laughs> you know your cars. I like the random car channel. You know your cars. I love the McGann the R twenty six R. Let's do it. It's a beautiful piece of racing machinery. Uh, <laughs> let's get it. Okay, so it's B class. B class. Front wheel drive should be astonishingly quick. Well, it should be for, for what it is. Um, this is. Uh, it, well, I say it was. It was an incredibly good car in Horizon. Oh, I might have to change the red wheels though. Don't think the red wheels work with the orange. If I'm being perfectly honest with you, uh, <laughs> it is the one with the weird butt. However, it is just a glorious car to drive. Um, before I say, long before I got the Jag, I was actually looking, not getting an R26R, because the, the R is super expensive, but an R26 began, I was actually looking at getting at one point. I would probably still get one for fun. Uh, like, I, I think they, they genuinely look like an absolute riot to drive. And one day, I think it would be awesome to, to own one of these, but uh, I don't think I'd ever spend the money on getting one of the Rs. It's just so much money for a hot hatch. But don't get me wrong, they're a great car, the R the R, but I don't know if I could justify as much money on one of these compared to just an R26. You could get an R26 and um, like a VX220 Turbo, I think, probably. Almost. They probably could for about the same price as one of these. It's like, I'd, I'd just get the two cars. I need a bigger driveway already. <laughs> uh, right, let's go set up a lobby. So we're going to start... I apologise. I say I apologise. 
uh, it was requested. I'll try and get through all the track quests. I might not quite have time, but we'll do our best to get through all the track requests. Um, it was requested that we were going to... So we're going to... Oh, that's just going to be custom. We're going to start at... Uh, we have been... We have been Laguna, but we are going to go to the old school circuit. This is going to be... It's going to be a bit dicey, I feel. However, we will give it a go. Right, so custom fuel and tyres. Turn those off for the moment. Uh, we want grid ordering, reverse PI. So, yeah. The way this works, if you're just tuning in, um, if you're just tuning in, I welcome you all to the stream. What we're doing here is we're doing our own... This game mode kind of reminds me of like the draft game modes you get in things like Hearthstone and FIFA and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, basically, the way it the way it works is we all start off with a car at level one, like completely stock. And as we go through, as we as so as we do a race, we will earn car XP. At the end of the race, we can upgrade our car using that XP. Uh, and everyone's going to earn different amounts. Everyone's going to upgrade their cars differently, and we're going to see how it all kind of uh, diverts, if you will. Um, so far has been quite interesting. And so far, some people, me one time, has just got mad with PI for reasons I don't fully understand how I did it. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, uh, it did happen. Um, and in the first one, someone, Brazen, ended up, funnily enough, Brazen, who was very quick, uh, ended up wandering off with with the PI. I think I think Res ended up wandering off the PI. Might have ended up doing slightly different things with the car. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> it's uh, is that everyone? Uh, oh, Blakey can have an invite as well. Uh, so yeah, it's been a fun game mode. And as I said, I feel like this really should be a game mode for a here's a like like for for an online session. I would if you were going to do it, I'd uh, I would adjust it massively. In, like massively up the amount of XP you earn per race so that you could condense it into like a three race game and have the cars change quickly. Um, that's how I would, that's what I would, in fact, earlier people were asking what I'd do with this upgrade system. That's actually what I'd do. I would completely take this upgrade system away from single player, away from general multiplayer, but I would use this, I would use this system for its own separate game mode that would act like a draft, like you would get on Hearthstone, like you would get on FIFA, like uh, probably other games. I don't know what games other games use it. Um, but I would have this as like a separate game mode from the normal multiplayer that you could go and play. Just you, you'd scale it up massively. So each race, so like a, a race, I, you, maybe you'd get different points for more, like get XP for more things during a race and all of that kind of thing. Um... You could scale it completely differently so that people could stand a better chance of earning more points and, and, and all of that kind of stuff. And, yeah, I would turn this into its own separate special game mode for online alongside all the other stuff of the game. That's actually what I would do, come to think of it. Um, but, yeah. Uh, Christian Sweden, thank you very much for the donation. There was a message, but thank you very much. It is greatly appreciated indeed. Um, KZR Racing, thank you very much for the super chat as well. So what car have you seen and thought, I want that? I mean, well, okay. If you ignore, like, a lot of the obvious stuff, of course, um, two, two vehicles spring to mind, uh, the first of which is the Maserati Quattroporte. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the Quattroporte is one of those cars that I could not go and look at. I couldn't... I couldn't go and look at a Quattroporte because if I looked at a good one and I wanted to drive and I test drove it, I would buy it. I, I want a Quattroporte, but I also know it's a Maserati and it's an old Maserati. It will break down and it will... You'll spend... My RS6 has not been cheap to run. I've got a video actually coming out soon. Well, at some point soon. Talking about it. But a Maserati Quattroporte with the Ferrari, it's just, you know it's going to cost you so much money and it would be an awful financial decision, but also it's a Quattroporte and they sound amazing. I, that, yeah, that is one. The other, actually, um, it is a very specific model of car that I saw. Um, it was at a car show. It was at a car show a while ago. Um, well, sorry, well, a long, long time ago now. I can't remember what show it was at. And it was a Lotus. It was a Lotus Elise. I can't remember exactly what 
you know what model. It was a second generation Elise, and it was in it was in the dark purple that I absolutely love. Dark purple I've always wanted to put on uh, my Audi uh, or on any estate car to be honest. Uh, it was an absolutely stunning looking car uh, that was for sale. It wasn't I can't remember how much it was now. It was like at the time it wasn't a crazy um, it wasn't a crazy price. And it was one of those cars that I knew if I looked at it for too long or test drove it, I would have just bought it. Um, like I, I knew I would have done. And yeah, in the end, in the end, I didn't. But uh, yeah, that that was a dangerous car to to leave me around, basically. <laughs> so um, yeah, those those two particularly spread. I mean, there's there's loads of stuff, of course, but uh, those those two in particular are the ones that, that spring out the most, if you like, in my mind. Uh, oh, I forgot to actually go and upgrade my car, didn't I? Uh, custom upgrade. Uh, I mean, I guess, re really, when you've only got 300 points, I feel like this is basically the way everyone's going to go, right? You've not got enough points to do it. The only other way you might go is brakes. Which might help, but... Well, we will help, of course. But I'm not sure whether... Oh, what are the tire brushes? Oh, they're really high again. Uh, I don't know I don't know what's good. Let's just go 24 front and rear. It seems like the way to go, because they'll heat up pretty quickly. Can't remember whether you changed the pressure on the Nissan. I think we did. Uh, There we go. Right. Just wait for... I don't know if we're waiting for anybody else to get connected. So everyone is at... Uh, okay, everyone's at the same. Apart from Ewan. How have you done that, Ewan? Longbow might have gone brakes. And I think the others may be going for just a stock car. Which is a, a perfectly viable strategy. Um, uh, Matt G, thank you very much for the super chat. Saying, fun car fact. Uh, so Mixalot's 92 hit song, Baby Got Back, was actually written about the Clio R26. I'm not sure I believe you. Be funny if it was. Uh, <laughs> you know. I am... Um, uh, I, I presume you began, probably. Has there ever been a Clio R20? I mean, I know there are, far there are lots of fast Clios. I don't think there's ever been one called that. Uh, I think we're ready to go. I don't know if we're waiting for anybody. If we are, I apologise. We're going to... Um, we're, we're going to go without you. Got 12 people. Uh, it should still be an entertaining race. This is when it turns out I've probably buggered a setting up somewhere with this. But never mind, it'll all be fine. Or not. Distinctly possible not on this one. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Eventually. So this track, turn one is dangerous. Right, it's a fun layout. But turn one is really dangerous. Uh, because well, we're running a little bit long on the stream. We're going to perhaps go slightly shorter races than we did with the Nissans. Um, unfortunately, it does mean probably won't get a crazy amount of levels going on. However, um, we'll do what we can from here. I thought I took the fuel off. Apparently, I did. I uh, probably it, it put the fuel back in because I. Uh, change the upgrades. Oh, Christ, this is such a sketchy corner now. Uh, it's, yeah. We actually have managed quite nicely through there. Oh, how on earth I've been... I guess I just didn't carry the momentum through there. This corner here now becomes really quick. Uh, right, up the hill we go. And I've got nowhere to... It's all side by side in front of me, so there's no real point chucking my car like a lunatic through there. Ninetales is out wide. Ewan's out wide. And we are going to maybe pass a nine tails. I don't think we're going to get past a Ewan to the inside of the corkscrew. Oh, we are all <laughs> well. We're all about as bad as each other down there. Oh, did not quite turn in as soon as I needed to. I'll eventually get used to Forza's slightly different handling model over like Horizon. It's going to take a little while. Oh, that time I turned in a bit too soon. Yeah, that's probably fair. We squeezed you and you and squeeze us back. I'd say all is fair in that exchange. Uh, we are around the final corner. Oh, someone's having an accident. Liam has had terrible luck. <laughs> I have seen Liam in more accidents than than others. Uh, he's just just not had the luck today. 
Uh, I don't know. I've no idea how much speed I can take through here. More than that, that's for sure. I, I just, I, I've not really driven this layout at all. And I don't know how much speed I can take through there that much. Nine Tails is out wide, as is someone else. I think that was Aaron building those sand castles. Uh, right, at the top of the hill we go. Oh, slightly bobbled that curb. I mean, it wasn't a bad line over that curb. It just fired us a little bit too wide. Oh, back ends got excited. Behave, Renault. <laughs> Oh, that did not get that So there's a line over there. The thing is, certainly while I'm learning a car, the, the line down the corkscrew, you sort of turn in without really seeing where you're going. The first couple of times you drive it with whatever you're, you're learning, it's so easy to just miss what you are looking for. Um, it's really, really super easy to just dive across and cut the corner. Not, like, I'm not intending to cut that. I'm just trying to figure out where to aim for, basically. Uh, I will say, while this layout of Laguna is great fun, it's probably not going to be used often here um, because of the nature of the weird first corner and so on. And, and you're just more likely to have these big crashes and big pile-ups. Oh, well, oh, that's a sticky out bit of wall there. Thankfully, we are clear of nine tails. Christ, are you flat through here? I think you would be flat through, even if I hadn't ran wide and bumped the wall. You're certainly going to be close to flat in this car. No, I'm turning too soon again. Oh, someone's out in trouble there. Who is that? Blakey, I think. Uh, Blakey on the outside. Don't know whether it was assisted or whether it ran wide. I've had a terrible race, really, here. Uh, it has been distinctly subpar. Uh, oh, that time, it's all over. It's all messy on the inside. Curb. Yeah. I mean, so we're all kind of still learning the games. At some point, I might end up having some form of penalties put on so just <laughs> like we are taking a few liberties we're all kind of doing it we're all kind of learning uh, so I say it's okay but uh, yeah later on down the line I might, might do something uh, with them. we will see Liam's actually recovered very well I think we're all scrapping and just generally being slow <laughs> and Liam is, is had a pretty good pretty good run through all of this. Right, let's not quite go as wide as last time. Well, it wasn't far away from as wide as last time, but uh, there we go. Can we be flat through there? We can. That, it makes that corner really fun. That is the only thing. I don't really like turn one. It's a bit narrow and too likely to cause trouble, but I do love what it does to the next corner. It makes that a really, really fun corner. Uh, so it's a cool layout, as I said. I'm really grateful it's in the game. I'm just unlikely to use it much, I don't think. Because, uh, well, a normal Laguna is brilliant anyway. And, yeah, you're just the pileups that are liable to occur at this turn one. We've done quite well, actually. We've been all sensible. I'm not sure public lobbies are going to be all sensible, really. Uh, there is some dust clouds going on up ahead. That's fine. I say that's fine. Oh, you're a little bit jittery, a little bit laggy. Can I fend off Liam for a lap? <laughs> Don't know. Don't know if we can. But we will give it a damn good try. Uh, I mean, we could have been maybe a little faster. If Liam has company from Nine Tails and is kept busy. Oh, don't do that! God. We're going to get saved by the fact that it's super difficult to pass at the top of the hill. Uh, <laughs> that saves us there. Oh, and Liam made a mistake, as has someone else. Don't know who. May have been Gliska. And uh, there was somebody all crossed up in the grass. Nine Tails is going for a wide swing into the corkscrew. Now, that gets you a very quick exit. However, not quick enough at the moment. We are a little wide through there, which could put us vulnerable, which is why I'm slightly defending down here. It's going to make us slow on the exit, but again, even if we're slow on the exit, we can force Nine Tails to go an awkward way into the final corner. We're going to just park it on the apex, give Nine Tails no options, nowhere to go. They've still managed to get the drive. We will chase them to the pit wall, but it won't matter. We can't hold it. Ah, damn it. I thought... I thought 
we would be able to do that on the exit. Ninetales got some real speed out of that final corner. Ugh. Longbow takes victory. Ollie is second. I mean, we ended up sixth. Could have been worse. Could have been worse, really. Uh, the gamble on the low PI worked for someone. I don't know who it's it was. Stevie, I think? Did not work for Gliska or for Danger Man on that one. They, they fell down the order too far. Uh, but there we go. Well, decent race. Like, we had a fun race in that one. Uh, slight, slight frustration at the end. Oh, there we go. It's back. I don't know why that died. Hmm. Turns out, unplugging it and plugging it back in again did the trick. No idea why it did that. Absolutely no clue. Uh, don't even think I'm... Don't, sometimes if I like, nudge the wire or pull the wire out, it, it has an issue. But that time I didn't even think I did that. Uh, in Pega, that's definitely not allowed. <laughs> what have we got? So, okay. So, I'm going to guess... You and Nolly Shadow, they've all gone for power. Nine has maybe gone for more power. I've gone for the front tire widths. Uh, I guess they've done. Maybe they've got an extra level and they could get more. I don't know. Um, who knows? Who knows on this one? I guess we will find out. I mean, power's probably, power is important around here. It's definitely a quick track don't know whether whether we're going to be able to keep up. Stevie's sticking with... I mean, it worked. It worked in the last one. <laughs> um, it worked. It worked in the last last round to keep Stevie towards the front. That, that good grid spot. Uh, games crashed for you. <laughs> we didn't have this many crashes when we were filming, thankfully. I think it is more to do with these customizing the cars in the lobby. It doesn't seem to like it. It'll do it, but it doesn't really like it. Uh, okay, we're actually quite towards the front. So Gliska will be on pole when the thing adjusts. Uh, Stevie's going to be second. There's me and Danger Man. Me and Danger Man, I presume. No, me and Danger Man, cars built completely different, but on the same PI. These ones really specced into handling and no speed. And then these down here, I presume we've got a slight bit more power. Hmm. Could be in, should be interesting. Oh, fuel level is a good shout, because that will have filled it back up. Which sure we do not need. We do not need all of this fuel at all. We will go for... I don't even need that much. We're over 20% just to play it safe. Always worth, just in case. Because somebody's going to... Someone's going to underfuel and break down. Guaranteed. Everyone is ready. It is time to go racing. If I can drive well and don't drive like a plank, <laughs> I think I stand a good chance. 
<laughs> you know, it, it's a big if. That's a really big if. I am quite the plank, apparently, tonight. Um, who knows? Who knows what we might see here? About the height... Oh, no. We're a lot further back on the grid than I was expecting. Did people maybe change their cars? Oh, uh, God knows. I guess maybe some other cars... Maybe people did rebuild their vehicles in different ways. Uh, well, okay, never mind. Maybe I just misread the... Uh, oh, a lot of speed out there. Maybe no, I didn't just misread the start grid or something. We definitely did not get the launch that I wanted to. The problem I've got is... A little bit like what we've seen, we saw in the, one of the escort races, where even if I have the grip through these corners, I might just get stuck in a sea of cars and not actually be able to make progress, really. Uh, like, we have probably got the grip to go around the outside of some of them, but we may not be able to complete those manoeuvres. We will see how it all pans out. Longbow's definitely quicker than me in a straight line. I think Longbow, I think the other one was launched launch really quick at the start. There are definitely some fast cars down these straights that have been built differently to us. Don't know where to break here exactly. I mean, I, I know roughly where to break, but it's again going to be learn what this car can do. And the thing is, we're going to learn what this car can do. Take, oh god, didn't, I was guessing where the track was through the sea of Renault. Uh, <laughs> it's a little known French ocean, well, French sea, I guess. Uh, the sea of Renault. Uh, parks itself in Indianapolis at various corners from time to time. That's getting very busy, isn't it? This just looks like... This looks like a safety car waiting to happen, if there was such a thing as a safety car in this game. Uh, we are going to try and get underneath some pickles for a good exit, but not really able to do much. We might be able to get underneath, so I can perhaps keep on the power down here and get my car turned a bit better with these bigger front tyres. Uh, peg it up high and wide. We're trying to get some slipstream. There's no... There's not really a big toe for us down here. Danger Man is on the outside. Uh, wait for everyone else to break and break about... Well, I'd probably break a little bit later, but we're kind of playing a little bit safe on lap one. Uh, that was a flaky. Got a little bit caught out, but it has sort of lifted and fallen back, so it's not gaining an advantage from an adventurous run through the first corner. The plus point here is at turn one, if you do get adventurous, you've at least got some leeway. Likewise down here, you've got some leeway through this section. Who is it? They might have a big Indy car crash there, didn't they, a couple of years ago. I can't remember who it was. But uh, there we go. Oh, we've got some go. However, we're really stuck on a wide outside line through these corners, which isn't great. Uh, now can we... I mean, we're just basically swapping sides with Pega at the moment. I'm trying to keep Pega pinned down there, but I could get around the outside. Aaron's gone for an adventure. <laughs> it has, it's happened. It has definitely happened. The old adventurous... Adventurous... Uh, let's say sandcastles. Not quite sandcastles there. That was just onto the grass. Uh, not going to be able to find a way through here. But that line, I've got to be careful doing that. Oh, Ewan is a ghost. Ghosty, ghosty Ewan, what's going on? Don't know why you've become a ghost. Did not get that line right at all there, which understeered like a ferry. We were so good on the first lap, no good on the second lap. I've not got a draft particularly helpful this time around. That's a bit of a shame. Hmm. Okay, well, we can be... I hope Brave underbreaks into turn one. Still a little early, I think, but I think it will. That's a still for us. Shadow has got better through there than we were. You can get that inside. Oh, I did not get to the apex. So you can get to that inside. You will struggle, though. Shadow's got more power than me. You will struggle out here. That is the place where you will probably have a bit of an issue. The power may make up for it. Power may, may make up a little bit for Shadow. It's not going to be close enough again to really have a look down here. Uh, there is another car. Oh, I think that was Aaron having a dive on Shadow. I was a little bit worried it was going to just end up in my uh, back of my car. Thankfully, did not. 
all was safe for us. We have not got the car for this. It, the, the build has not really worked for me, I don't think, around here. Pega on a little bit of another running wide moment through there. We've seen a few cars off at that corner. I mean, it's quite normal, really, for the Indy Road course to have a couple of cars off there. Uh, this line is not really where I want to be. Uh, we'll just get it through here. Now, hopefully, I can sort it out so we just flat the whole way around here. That's better this time around. The cars behind, I don't think Aaron's, actually Aaron's one of the really quick cars on the straight, wasn't it, I think. Oh, we're going to have to defend. We may well have to defend turn one. No, not close enough. Ho well, hopefully not close enough, unless they go for a huge dive bomb. Impega's about to do it. No, no, Impega got it stopped. Thought Impega's about to do it, but the car last one down there, but nope. Did get it stopped in time. Whiskers off. Molly is leading the way through all of this mess. I mean, it's not a, yes, it's not a huge lead. Uh, I've... I feel like I'm not sure what I've done with this car wrong, or maybe I'm just not very good. <laughs> we've had moments of, we've had flashes of good, we've had flashes of good, uh, just too many poorish races have occurred as well, uh, and this one we just seem to be struggling a little bit for pace. Uh, oh god, there's a huge fight going on behind me between Aaron, Shadow and someone else, I'm not sure who it was. Maybe Ewan, looked like. Uh, oh, Danish man got it messed up through there. As kind of, actually four cars back here, a bunch of cars back there. Uh, Blakey is oh, Blakey, sorry, struggling. Stage man buggered off uh, ahead of Impega. Oh, lock my brakes. That is not what you need to do at all. That's he hell. Come on, Renault. Come on, Alex. Probably a better way to phrase it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like I am letting the Renault down. We are just stuck with the old watching, watching Pega, watching Gliska drive away a little bit in the distance. I mean, apparently that lap time was not far off my best, which suggests my best is a bit crap. I feel like there should be way more pace in this car. Oh, that's probably late. No, no, that worked. That worked under brakes. That's what we like. Better, better break. Well, the shadow was even better. The shadow's got real pace here compared to me. Oh, are you going to be able to? I've got to give some space, but you're not going to be able to maintain that quite mid corner. So we're not catching the cars ahead. Barring an accident, we're not catching them. They are gone. They are out too far out in front. We've got to be careful of shadow having a look somewhere. Will shadow want to have a look to the? Well, we don't, we don't want to go too defensive down here because we're really slow on the exit. We just want to go defensive enough to put Shadow off, and thankfully, it has not been him again fired down the inside. So, neat and tidy we go through all of this. Still, that car is right on our bumper. I've got to get across very quickly. Otherwise, Shadow would have just sent it into this next corner. We will defend once again. Still, the black car is menacing in the background. Oh, park it once more on the apex, which we do successfully. We leave the final corner. I think we have enough of a gap. Just. And good fight against Shadow, who is now going to try and outrun us to the line, but can't do it. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah it was a good fun battle I just didn't have the pace at all at that track no speed at all in my in, in myself uh, my car I mean it was built differently to a lot of others but uh, still was decent enough in terms of PI I swear my PI's gone I swear it was 38 and somehow it's gone up uh, but <laughs> yeah jeez um Yeah, it's not a great race. Not not a great race for me. I lacked I lacked some real pace around there. Could have been worse though. But well done, Liam. Ollie is second. Stevie is is still scoring great finishes with a low PI car in this one. Uh, uh, Ross Crashtain, thank you very much for the donation. I uh, say I'm late, and you're driving a Renault. 
I must know how it all began. <laughs> you are getting a boo. You are getting a boo from me, and I am sure from chat as well. You are definitely very well deserving of a boo in all of that one. Uh, yeah, Stevie Coot keeps the podium streak alive going on here. Uh, oh, Blakey had Distracto Cat. Ah, of course. My Distracto Dog has been Sleepy Dog. It's still back to being Sleepy Dog again. Apollo made like a brief appearance and now he's gone back to sleep again. Uh, <laughs> so there we go. Um, okay, well we got... We got, a, we got a level. We got a level, but that was kind of... It, not really all that exciting. Ah, yes, the Norwegian fan of name. Boo in French, I agree. I don't know what boo in French is, but I do agree. Uh, have I... I think I've just realised. Why did I get crashed out of a party? I was in my own party at one point. I do apologise. The game chat would have been going mad. Um, thankfully, I think they're all in a party, so I wouldn't be able to hear. I don't know why. Why did I get disconnected from a party I was in? Oh well. Uh, right. Event. We will have one final race and we will go for the final race to Mid-Ohio. Uh, I do like this circuit. Wonderful, wonderful little track. Uh, there are also fucking around here. And we will again go for a random weather. So when it loads, who knows what we might get. Um, Mid-Ohio seems to like to be done in the rain. But according to this game, however, uh, nope. Look at that. I see blue sky. I see blue sky. It is glorious. It is a glorious day here for a race. What on earth am I going to do to this car? Uh, I mean, I guess that makes a lot of sense. I guess we may as well just dump that in, because it's actually quite cheap. Can't afford brakes. Do we need the anti-roll bars? Is the car good enough? I, mean, I could do that. Front tyres are a bit more important than rear tyres, but... Um, that, should, that should work. I mean, it should work as well as anything. Um... Apparently, Ewan's English is terrible, but someone's being cheated. I don't know who's being cheated. <laughs> uh, we've got a crap ton of PI, although others are still building um, their vehicles, so who knows what others are going to end up with. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of happy with my build. Um, but I'm happy with how, how this is looking. If we start the back... I actually don't mind. I, I, I think I would rather start at the back with the fast, with the most PI, the fastest car. Um, than have... Well, it worked for the Nissan, basically. It worked, it worked out quite well for me in the Nissan, so... Yeah. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go with this. Uh, could we have a night race? You know what? Uh, screw it. Why not? Why not? Can I set time of day to random? Ah. Okay, we actually can. Let's go for... It, it, we'll go for like a sunset race going into night. That should be fun. There we go. I don't know whether we'll actually get fully into night. But it's kind of a cool... It'll be a cool visual going on. Oh, the dog's on the move. He's just wandered out of shot. <laughs> you right, Apollo? You sleepy? You had a tough day? I mean, literally, all your day has been is... Yeah, hello. Hello. Do you want to come say hello to everybody? Your day has been really difficult. You've chased a ball about. You've had a walk. You've been fed twice. You've irritated the cats. You've had a bone to chew on. And then you've slept. It's a great life. It's a great life. Go on, then. You coming up? You can come up? Here we go. Hello, doggo. Hello. Uh, <laughs> why have you got to do it with the licking? What is it with the licking? Why can't you be nice and cute? You just have to lick. Why is he, he's such a licky dog. And a bitey dog. He's such a bitey, licky, silly dog. 
Uh, and you farted! I should have left you in your bed. Why did I call you over? You're a smelly, bitey, licky dog. Uh, <laughs> you've had a fart. I know you have. I know you have, you stinky dog. Uh, <laughs> oh, the camera's slightly shifted a little bit too high. But uh, there we go. Oh, you're going to headbutt the mic as well. Good boy. Um, yeah, Apollo is a big dog. Apollo is a big dog. In fact, Apollo is quite big for a Maui, I think, as well. Um, he's not the biggest you'll ever get, but he is quite big. He's, a, he's bigger than his bro- Well, he's taller than his- He's lankier than his brother. His brother's kind of wider. Um, but, uh, yeah, he, I mean, he's a lovely dog. Uh, <laughs> but he is a silly dog sometimes. Um, uh, someone asking, uh, Apollo is a Belgian Malinois. It's kind of like a German Shepherd, only smaller and a much bigger lunatic. I think they're a little bit smarter as well the German Shepherd, but the absolute, absolute lunatic is the best way to sum them up. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. He's, he's a lovely dog. Very, very smart. Very trainable. Um, in theory, my one's a bit of a dumbass. The other day, so he sleeps in the... Um, he, he sleeps in the dining room. He doesn't come in the bedroom because of, for, because of the cats. Um... Uh, but I uh, didn't shut the door properly. The door was like slightly ajar, and the dumbass dog that could very, very easily have figured out how to open the door could not. He got stuck, in <laughs> and I could hear him. When I woke up, I could hear him whining because he wanted to get out of the dining room because the door was open, but the idiot couldn't figure out how to just nudge the door open a little bit. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of grateful because it would have been terrifying waking up to Mally jumping on your bed, but... Um, yeah. <laughs> it was not, it's not the smartest, not the smartest doggo in the, in the world. But never mind, right? Sorry, Apollo. We have got to, um, we have got to go racing. Buddy, please don't lick my hand while I'm trying to drive. Okay. Uh, <laughs> right. We are underway. We've somehow gone to the highest PI I've ever. Oh, you're going to rearrange your bed now, aren't you? Yeah, no, that's fine. You do that. Rearrange your bed into a position that uh, that you would like. We are all okay with that. Let's try and not go for the cheaty line. It technically doesn't get you a penalty, even though it's a very cheaty line. Uh, we don't want any of that shenanigans. Um, right, down towards this next one. We've not had a great start, but I'm honestly like okay with not, not going crazy. If I don't get a great start off the line, I'm kind of happy to be... A little... Oh, I think I'm leaving it too late to shift up in some ways. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of happy to just sit a little bit back, try to avoid the worst of the chaos. Someone's really going adventuring down there. Don't know where I need to break. It's all with these. Oh, a couple cars very much off. That is Aaron off. And that is... Oh, Gliska with a very bad rejoin. Uh, <laughs> right there. Uh, oh, we were a little bit too much on the inside across the grass trying to stay out of some trouble. Uh, can we... Oh, you are, we can we can get up the inside of Shadow. I can't turn. Thankfully, the car's got unhooked in all of that. Uh, we are, we have sorted it out. We, uh, we have, we have got it recovered, at least. This corner, I'm still not sure quite how to take. It's quite a fast corner, but I always forget how fast that turn is. Uh, so I always end up losing a bunch of time, leave a load of time on the table because I don't run as wide as I should, basically. Um, but anyway, we're up to 10th. We're wide. No. Ah. God damn it, we were up to 10th. <laughs> With this game, one of the things they've changed that is going to take some getting used to is if you put a wheel on the grass, which is, I think, accurate. I mean, I talked about it a little bit in the tyre test video I did. If you put a wheel on the grass, you just get stuck and you cannot get the car back on the circuit like you used to be able to. Uh, now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, it, just, it takes a little bit of getting used to when you are normally, so when you are used to that little bit of leeway that you would get, where you could get away with it, where you could uh, sort of drag the car back onto the circuit quite, quite easily. Um, well, not, not quite easily, but yeah. Uh, it's certainly a lot easier than this, so it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. I think we're going to see quite a lot of it in motorsport stuff 
for a while while we all are kind of adjusting and, and learning. Uh, <laughs> you're just kind of learning what you say what you can and can't get away with, but learning how the physics engine behaves and everything. Uh, as much as I like this track, I don't think I'm very good at it. Uh, yeah. I have not I have not figured out how to be fast around it while it is a very cool circuit. There's a really big group of cars going side by side. So Ollie's got a bit of a gap. There's this huge pack that I would be a part of if I hadn't gone adventuring off at the final corner, uh, which is a slight bit of a shame. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, it happens. We will do what we can. Where am I going through here? Somewhere over there. Uh, that's fine. Now, get on the power this time. Nope, still did it a little bit. But you want to open the steering up as much as possible, but you also don't want to... Oh, I want to grasp you. The turning... When it bites, it, it it's good. Just got to get it right more. Glisco had a big off through there, but recovered from it fairly well. And there's no... Well, there is a gravel trap, but I think you can sometimes get away without hitting it. Come on, Renault. Catching the two ahead, maybe a little bit. Oh, maybe not if we do that. That big... Uh, it's only a fight. I actually meant to put the laps up. I maybe should have put the laps up. The big group of cars up ahead. I want to catch. I want to be a part of. And they are going to really slow each other down fighting like that. However, I think we're going to struggle with the rest of this lap and two more to go. Although they are really slowing each other down, which is very good news. Uh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> trying to go it's really easy to overdrive the cars really easy when like i've had a poor start to this race so you push hard trying to catch up to get back in the fight especially in a one where it's not quite a conventional one make race this but yeah you really easy to just overdrive the car desperate desperate but yeah really trying to get back into that fun looking fight and we are doing a bit of that this time around. It's just a little bit ragged, a little bit out of place. Uh, we're following Aaron through there a little bit. Yeah, try and get a good drive on the exit. I don't know whether that's actually the way to do that corner. Oh, Gliska's turn to do exactly what I did. Uh, slightly different way, slightly different place on the circuit, but basically the same outcome. So, yeah, I don't know whether trying to really straighten up for that final corner is the way to go or not. Seem to lose a bunch of time to Aaron, but don't know. Gained it elsewhere. We're almost back in the fight. Stevie doesn't seem to be enjoying. Oh, Stevie was going for the really low PI strategy, and that might have come undone here. That corner still not got it right. Just trying to that that corner. I, don't, I feel like you should take a take a sort of wider swing to get a better run down this straight. And my brain just really struggles to let me do that. It wants me to take that really tight line that I have been taking. Uh, I don't know. Well, I'll have to experiment more. The things like Catalonia, I've driven thousands of laps on in this game, in other games, and all of that. So even though the physics engine is different, even though the game is different, you still know Catalonia, you still know Silverstone, even Spa to an extent, you still know. Here, I don't think I've ever driven it on a game it has been on games, but I don't think I've ever driven it. I may have driven it on iRacing briefly, a long time ago. I think maybe something else, it's our factor or driven it on a sim. But it was, yeah, only really briefly. And I, so I don't so I don't know this track at all. I don't know what I'm doing in comparison to one of the more traditional circuits. Oh, come on again. <laughs> We've spent this race trying to chase down Aaron. We've at least pulled a little bit of a gap on Gliska here. Can we do anything about getting into the top 10 on the final lap of the race? Not like that. We'll get away with that because it's only a little bit wide. We didn't find a gravel trap. That's kind of the important bit, although we have lost some ground to Aaron this lap around. Are they? I thought they were off the track up ahead, but I don't think they were. No, the blue car was on the, uh, on the limit. I have not figured out how to get the most out of this car. I definitely feel like... I feel like there's a way, there's a knack I'm not getting the most out of what this McGann can do. 
not quite sure what I'm doing wrong, but I am sure I am doing something wrong here with the car, because it feels like there's a huge amount of grip in it, but I'm being inconsistent at sort of finding that, that grip. Uh, oh, no, it's turning too soon. That's going to completely screw me up through all of this section. That is the typical overdriving. I'm trying to be a little bit too eager to get the car into the corner. That's the problems. Front wheel drive, boot it and save it. <laughs> Front wheel drive, boot it and save it did stop me going round. If that was a rear wheel drive car, we were probably over and out, but thankfully it was not. We will be over the curb. We have got one, well, two more quarters to go. We are going to cover that inside like crazy, so this cannot fire that car past. Uh, we are a little bit sluggish going out of that turn because of it, but there we go. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just could not get to grips. I mean, we had we had okay pace to sort of you and area. Like, I have no doubt there's way more pace in that car. I just couldn't get it. <laughs> couldn't use it. Couldn't drive it. Um... And that's, that's that. I need to learn that track better. <laughs> I definitely need to learn that track better. Oh, dear. I mean, it's been good fun. I'm not sure if this... I think this game mode works. The difficulty and the, the problem is I think it, I think it doesn't work. With, it doesn't quite work with the way that I want to work with it because I want the races to be shorter. Uh, I think this, this works, but it needs a lot these are a lot longer races. It worked better with the Nissan, I think, than it did with the other cars because it was doing longer races. I like this idea of the kind of draft style game mode. I think it could be fun, but with the way... Even this, even this, which is our best attempt at making this upgrade system fun, doesn't quite work. Not really. Uh, which says everything you need to know. <laughs> I mean, not that you really need to know any more about how terrible the upgrade system was but uh yeah i like it it's good fun it's kind of a it's quite uh like selective almost is is the best way to to describe it um but yeah I, i've had a good evening of racing there have been some genuinely fantastic battles uh the escort was garbage <laughs> And with, okay, with the first couple of races, they went downhill very drastically. The Nissan, I had a lot of fun with. Great races uh, with the Nissan. The Megan, I mean, I love the car. I just couldn't seem to figure it out. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's plenty of learning to do on this one. I've definitely had uh, had some good fun with this evening's with this evening's racing. Before we go, uh, more cowbell. Thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, go the mighty Renault! Uh, hi, Drake. For the Cult of 69, of course. The Cult of 69 did indeed, um, did indeed get there in the end. Uh, Wara, thank you very much for the super chat, saying thank you for existing, Alex. Well, <laughs> um, you're, you're welcome, I guess. It is the least I can do. Uh, but, uh, I, I'm glad you are enjoying the video. I hope you've all enjoyed this evening's stream. I hope you've had, I hope you've had fun watching us watching us go racing um i said we've had some good fun with this one apollo are you gonna say goodbye to everybody you gonna say goodbye you gonna come up you gonna come up no don't go licking oh come up come on you gonna come up there we go i mean it's not quite in are you in shot uh mostly you know you just want to lick my hands uh <laughs> you're a strange dog today do you, want to, do you want me to go get you a bowl of water? I, I'll probably go get that afterwards. I guess that's it might be what he's after. You're just going to hit... Them. Well, I'm going to hit the mic. He's going to hit the mic. Um, yeah. I, ho I, said, I hope, you, hope you've all had a good time here. Uh, I will be back streaming on Sunday. I'm not sure what I'm streaming yet. We may do some more party animals. We may do some more Forza. Depends on what I feel like, really. Um, this dog is... <laughs> i got your mouth now. What are you going to do? You can't do anything now. Can you? Hey, I'll get your tongue. I will. You keep, keep licking me, I'll get your tongue. And then you, what can you do? You can't lick if you get your tongue. He's a very patient dog. <laughs> oh, you're just going to stand there now, are you? Yeah, and you've fallen over. You've not got the balance, have you, for this one? <laughs> Silly dog. Right, off you go. 
Good boy. Um, yeah, that is going to be it for this evening's stream. Um, of course, a very, very big thank you to everybody who watched. A very big thank you to uh, everybody who has donated. It is greatly appreciated. I think I read everything out. I, th I tried to get to as many tracks as we could possibly um, in, in all of that one. Uh, I think we, we, we got to most of them. But yeah, that shall be it to, from me. Until next time, a uh, goodbye.